we are live. I, yes, we are live. Hi, hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi Atharv. Hi Minal. Welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Astrophysics Part Three. Thank you so much for being here. Super hey, kind sir, of you both. Sir. Uh, all right, chat is here. Thirty-seven people are already here. Uh, Sanchit, Andy, Aliza. Wait, is this Sid singing? Yes, Aliza, that is me singing. Uh, thank you. Oh, I should really put a link of that song, <coughs> Nietzsche, in the description. Okay. A lot of people are excited about this uh, conversation. I am too. Two minute late. Bus kya yar? Kaun bola two minute late? Shashwata. Thik hai. I tap hello. Namaste. All right. Awesome. Part three already. Yes, Miss Nonchalant. Yes. How are you guys? We're good. I mean, We're awesome. We're awesome. Yeah. Into the new semester again. College work is beginning. Oh, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, since our first two parts, <clears throat> uh, I'm guessing that uh, there must have been people uh, reaching out to you, talking to you about astrophysics. What yeah. What has been the response like? Uh, are people interested? Uh, what are people curious about? um well yeah they are like very interested in to ki wo hum log iske bare mein information kahan se pata karenge that is one aspect right and the other one is oh hame career karna hai isme ha so very so many people are very interested deeply interested yeah. in career so like kya kar sakte hai what can we do yeah how do you get there how do we convince our parents <laughs> what i <are> question <laughs> Convince our parents to uh, let us do a career in astrophysics. Mm, yeah. Yes. So, like, um, uh, engineering versus astrophysics, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that is a very legitimate question because, uh, to somebody, people are usually interested in space and astrophysics and universe when they are in school, seventh, yeah. eighth, child craft. Uh, you know, you think about all those things, and then what is the next step? I mean, astrophysics. अच्छा लगता है वो एक बात है, but then. कॉमर्स लेना है साइंस लेना है आर्ट्स लेना है इट डजेंट को रिलेट सो दैट इज एक्चुअली अ गुड डिस्कशन टू हैव दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एस्ट्रोफिजिस्ट हाउ शुड यू गो अबाउट इट वेर शुड यू अप्लाई वॉट शुड यू स्टडी मे बी यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड स्टेमिना इट्स अ लॉन्ग जर्नी Yeah, so that, long, that's what I advise even people who are joining medicine, and I think nowadays that's but, true. But actually, you don't you know actually what's going on in your body and your like like medicine and health science once you join the medical college itself. Yeah, you don't know what physics is till you come to the fourth year. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's <clears throat> that is interesting. So you like, just to get to the core subject that you love, you have to spend three four years. Yes, and mm-hmm. after that specialization, like mm-hmm. <laughs> once you start learning physics, it's like okay, there is such much more, like right. not only astrophysics. So many people are there who like join into physics. They do four-year physics, and then they say that oh, astrophysics is nothing in front of many things like quantum computing, right? Or might be something thin film, superconductivity, <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. So like they just. that's fine that's actually they are they are also very nice branches yeah i mean it's uh, i won't dismiss medicine completely because it is sort of similar so yeah. for example if i go in saying i want to do neurology mm-hmm. i don't i don't get to read about neurology until uh, my final year of mbbs which is oh. after 4 years of mbbs so you do anatomy physiology biochemistry microbiome all of that wo sab kuch khatam karne ke baad fir medicine aata hai final year mein So, if you are lucky enough to know exactly what you want, which is astrophysics, for example, hmm. you are actually going after a end branch, uh, or rather, a specialization in itself. So hmm. you have to yes, go through. Absolutely. Yeah. You have to go through a much more cleaning process. Brilliant. That's like for every field out there right now, because the information is just getting deeper and deeper. Yeah. So, yeah. sapiens may be here. Yes, it's about specialization and. How it is yeah. easy to uh, replace people nowadays with AI because सब को एक ही चीज आती है. So, uh, which is very interesting, and I know we are going on a slight tangent, but uh, I've been recently thinking about intersections mm-hmm. and how we all want to find our niche, but unfortunately, uh, if we are brought up thinking that we have to become very very good at one thing. Yeah. And unfortunately, when you become very good at one thing, there are already a lot of people there. So my theory is that you have to become reasonably good at two things, 
and you have to find an intersection between those two things which will yeah. automatically make you unique because there will be very few people who are that good at exactly those two things so you've just added one more variable and that's enough yeah mm absolutely that is true so neuroscience and youtubing for example mm. in, suddenly i mean there are hundreds of youtubers hundreds of neurologists mm. in this intersection there'll be what one two three people yeah it, it and that applies to any two branches any two branches can have an intersection and you are suddenly found yourself a niche that is so true career <laughs> advice yeah exactly <laughs> so there you go guys uh, we are not just talking about astrophysics we also give career advice on this channel <laughs> we'll have that talk sometimes yes. career advice and uh, people might think that we might do some great stuff we might to get to see some great stuff when you talk about observation astronomy no that's not the case <laughs> i i love how uh, i love how atharva keeps it real <laughs> that's not the case he keeps it too real <laughs> yeah yeah it's like guys it's it's all nonsense <laughs> okay today we released a, a summary video of of our last uh, discussion just to yeah. give people a chance to go over it and uh, guys if you haven't checked it out please go and check it out uh, it's called understanding the universe and uh, we have sort of summarized the last discussion we had and uh, i thought it was a nice way to build up to today's discussion which yeah. is something i've been hoping to have from the first one <laughs> By the way, I remember the first discussion we were having. I was thinking, okay, dark matter का भागा, dark matter का भागा. Finally, time आ गया. Two <laughs> two months and <coughs> many hours of discussion later, we are finally here. Yeah, and it's gonna be fun oh. discussion because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll okay. see why it will be fun. <laughs> okay, uh, just just to get things started, guys. Uh, get the likes up everybody who is joining into the stream 34 prasad sawan new to the channel uh, welcome uh, prasad like the like the video subscribe and get, share this link to every uh, physics and uh, space nerd out there that you know who wants to be part of this conversation and uh, yeah welcome uh, tell me mean atharva where did we stop last and how do we get to the next part uh we stopped at black holes last time yes and we talked about how there is a black hole at the center of our galaxy and we were just looking at kyo kaise dikhta hai so right and and that's the one that took uh, all all those uh, scientists and all those observatories from around the world to click pictures for so long and yeah. mm. put it all together yes, yes. yeah yeah, yeah. amazing okay so then we uh, that then we get to know that every galaxy has to has some um source of energy or uh, engine at the center and that's our black that's the black hole so like it, the, the black hole also comes in shape not shapes sizes right mass densities etc so uh, it all depends on what kind of black hole it is what size black hole it is What no, kind the of galaxy model came from? Yes. Right. So basically, that that the, the the entire galaxy morphology, how the galaxy will turn out in the future, depends on the black hole. Amazing. Yeah. Every I love that sentence. Every galaxy needs an engine, and that engine is a black hole. Yes. Yeah. And this is universal, right? Every galaxy will have a black hole at the yeah. center. Yes. So far, what we have observed, it's always been that. Okay. But the, theoretically, uh, it should because then. <coughs> it has to survive uh, it has to keep everything intact using that gravitational pull and there should be something in the center something pulling it so hard that it cannot yes. just escape right so the black hole is what keeps the galaxy together yeah the integrity wow okay all right early early mind blown moments uh, <laughs> okay so ne- then what um so I mean we'll have to discuss about galaxies and the morphology and everything today so we're going to do that today okay and we'll go into a little bit of story mode ki oh galaxies kaise pata ki hum log ne done done i think uh, we are all we are all getting very familiar with uh, meena's storytelling capa- abilities <laughs> trust me they're not that good <laughs> okay right. should i start sharing my yes, screen yes yes please do okay um just a minute Okay. Uh, in the meantime black holes must be so egoistic thinking the whole world revolves <laughs> around it yes 
That is true. Uh, what is the name of the black hole? Quasars. Quasars are pulsating stars, right? No, no. Quasars are squal- quasi-stellar objects. So, like, quasi- uh, QSO is a quasi-stellar object. Quasars okay. are quasi-stellar radio sources. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm, qua- I, I don't know what that means, though. So, <laughs> we, we will get to it. We'll okay, get to cool, it. cool, cool. I mean, I know I nodded very wisely, but I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Uh, okay. One second. Uh, Hang on, uh, Meenal. Uh, just let me uh, adjust the screen a little. Uh, okay. Now don't. I guess s- it's fine. No, no. Don't uh. stop sharing. Don't stop sharing it. Okay. Like just keep it exactly mm-hmm. the way it is. Yeah. And uh, let me. Uh, hang on. <clears throat> just give me one second. Okay. Because I would. I would like. Uh, I would like to have the two uh, separate. Okay. Uh, well, while you do yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I, do. I just wanted to tell that the slides ke jo bhi naam hai, uh-huh. Man Mohan from Discord, he helped me with naming them because in the last video, mein he had put a very good oh. description about that. Brilliant. Like, he put okay. time stamps. Time stamps. Dal lete, haan. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so cool. he helped me with that. So thank you for that. So nice. All right, cool. I think we are sorted. I think we are good. Uh, this is, this is, uh, yeah, I think this is decent. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, thanks. Go on. Now you can go on. Okay. Um, so we stopped at the slide last time. Okay. And we just zoomed out and we were like, oh, galaxy. So <laughs> last Last time we talked about stars and black holes and everything, right? Yeah. But it's a lot of, um, they occupy a lot of space in our space. And it's just, we are like, okay, what do you call a collection of stars right. that are together? Right. So, or just a system of stars. So, our system is one of them, so we named So, we named them galaxies. Galaxies, right. <clears throat> and galaxies have a lot of things other than stars as well like they have nebulae and all the stuff that yeah. is there with a the star now uh, galaxy is derived from the greek word gala meaning milk oh wow okay i did not know this and so what happened was purani zamane mein <laughs> light pollution to tha nahi so people were easily able to look at the sky and the Milky Way ka band right. that we can see right. and they were like oh it looks like milk because kitna sara white hai usme. Right. and they were like okay that's the galaxy we named it galaxy and then <coughs> so, so the, we, okay so the first galaxy that we saw we named it Milky Way and that became the basis of the word galaxy itself yeah oh wow okay All right. so yeah, it's like Milky Way galaxy. So you're basically saying Milky Way milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. so, um, People and naming things. Oof. <laughs> yeah, Atar was very frustrated. He's thinking, why couldn't they have named it X273? Why? <laughs> no, okay. Elon if you want to not. coin the term, it's a different thing, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so that was, a- that was the best they could do with the information they had, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I, I love, <laughs> I love that. We, you have to, you have to be. Uh, I was really saying, forgive them, Lord, for they knew not what they were doing. <laughs> okay, go on, go on, go on. Okay, so there was a poet named uh, yeah. Jeffrey Chaucer, and in his poem in thirteen eighty five, uh, the poem was called "The House of Fame." He wrote, uh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> See yonder low the galaxy, which I call the Milky Way. Because, because it is white. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Basically, then. Basically, <laughs> that is how we started with the name of our galaxy. Right. And it just stuck around after that because we are too lazy to change it. And <clears throat> so for a very long time, galaxies were thought to be nebulae. We mm. were the last time. Baat kiya tha. Right. They were uh, clouds of gas basically uh, star like explosion ke baad jo hai star ke. Right. 
dust, gas, debris, yeah. whatnot, everything. everything. Just yeah. and loads of just empty space. Yeah. Right. Nothing. Yeah. So they were named after the Latin word for clouds, huh. nebulae. So that's another fun fact. And, yeah. Now, <laughs> up until 20th century, like 1920s up, um, we didn't know galaxies had or we. It's, it's like a very recent development. Yeah, I mean, 1920s up be. Yeah. Kitne log 1970s aale hai. Zinda abhi. Right, right, right. <laughs> sure. Roger Penrose. Yeah, tell me. It's been something that has shaped astronomical path bohot uh, aage in depth. So in 1920, um, there were two competing ideas about the universe. He, oh, the night sky that we look at, what does it actually have? So one was, ki, oh, the Milky Way, jitna hum logo ko dikh hai raat ko, that is the entire universe. Right. And that's it. And or the nebulae that we see, jo cloud gases dikhte hai, they were kind of like islands of universes. And chote chote udhar, maybe or stars ho sakte hai. Right, right, right. So this is all speculation. You look up and you think, we don't know. Yeah. Right. It was just fun to think about. And then came Hubble. Well, us, wow. he was a scientist. Hai, but we'll just put a picture of the telescope because why not? God damn. PPTOP, man. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's commenting, Manny Manta is a conspiracy theories. <laughs> what? Why even? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Too much na- scam 1992. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Guys, this is the... not a scam, okay? I know I call happiness a scam, but this is not a scam. Yeah. yeah, you can't call everything a scam. Yeah, exactly. Then what do you have left? Scam. <laughs> Scams. <laughs> okay, so going back to Hubble, he with his friend Milton, with so there was this amazing computationalist named Henrietta Leviat, and she developed a formula uh, uh, to identify the distance between stars. Like, how much is distance kitna hai stars or Right. And Edwin and everyone, they used that formula to uh, look at the sky and measure the distances. Got it. And while they were observing the Andromeda, Andromeda was a big nebula. Tha. And they were like, oh, gas, cloud, wow. <laughs> they were just looking at it. And suddenly they observed, there was like a pulsation. Ho ra tha usme. Like mm. They were pulsating mm. stars and mm. they were like, what? Isn't it a cloud of gas? Why are the stars in it? Right. And then it was, dhire dhire, it just kind of formed together. Kyo, maybe there are other star systems that are together and that is an another entire galaxy of its own. Right. So this mm. was in 1920s. So, okay. And Initially they thought nebula hai, clouds hai, stars nahi hai. Usme usse kuch aana nahi chahi. Light white kuch, kuch nahi aana chahi. Mm-hmm. Dikh hai, wo reflected light hai. Yeah. And then pata chala ki nahi, usi se, usi se hai, udar se hi, uh, pulsating light hai. Yeah. Okay, got it. And to give an example of what it sounds like, I wanna play this video. Oh yeah, for so, sure. These are like pulsar stars just ke mein hum ne last time baat kiya tha. Right. They pulsate. That's what they do. Right. And uh, we'll just these sounds directly correspond to the radio waves emitted by the brightest pulsars in the sky as received by some of the largest radio telescopes in the world. And we'll just listen to yeah. one or two of them. Sure. Okay. Can you hear it? So there is yes. a beat. Yes, there I can. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is a low frequency one. Yeah, as you can see, like this is just 0.7 um, like one one beat is uh, in interval zero point seven seconds. So like roughly we can say sixty beats, seventy beats per minute. Right. So there and are some very fa- very fast ones also. Okay. Um. Uh, just an advice to anyone who is wearing your cords, volume thoda kam kar dena. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Uh, I I got it. So this is like yeah. 
but what is that sound it is the sound of energy so it, yeah so oh. like yeah, again that's not a sound <coughs> it's just waves getting to us at that frequency right. which we mimic mimic into sound hmm. because it. we can't see radio we can't feel radio yeah. we it's want the to only way we mimic. can perceive it yes yeah. so yeah. like this is perceiving things so here is another one you bought your so much that wow so wo raste pe jo kaam chalta hai na drill machine ka it's like a drill yeah so i'll i'll just play thoda about idhar baad mein main discord pe ppt dal dungi to log dekhenge sure perfect so yeah so pulsars so like pulsars are very accurate very accurate so uh, do you know the concept of atomic clocks uh cesium se jo matlab we you हाँ सो बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रो एकदम बेसिक फिजिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम वन एनर्जी लेवल टू अनदर एनर्जी लेवल दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांजिशन फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर कीपिंग अप टाइम कीपिंग एलिमेंट ओके दैट इज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टैंडर्ड सो लाइक इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांजिशन फ्रीक्वेंसी इन द ऑप्टिकल और अल्ट्रावायलेट रीजन टू बी स्पेसिफिक ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम दैट इज वॉट इज डी के राइट Huh? That is decay. Uh, the atom, the decay of the atom yeah, yeah, is what is. Yeah. Ah, yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. Got it. So Got it. this is the atomic clock. These are very precise clocks. Very precise clocks. So you can you can imagine. So like the uh, there is an electron. It is transitioning from one energy level to another energy level. These energy levels are literally fixed. Hmm. And they have like for an atom, these electron the, for an electron in the atom in some shell. these these energy levels are fixed so these are super accurate right but these pulsar sounds are much more accurate than that accurate in so, what sense oh, beats periodicity oh. time keeping element oh wow okay so basically there are a lot of pulse uh, the uh, pulsar clocks like the time kept from pul- due to pulsars is much more accurate than a time um, by atomic clock we have that for like um, it's like our guidance system in this space wow. so basically um, there was one voyager mission yeah have you heard of it so like we sent couple of things in into the deep space like we just sent it in some random direction yeah uh, if anybody receives it then we can basically they can know that there is some human civilization yeah, out yeah. there and they sent there is some, some civilization they sent some souvenirs ah. i think they sent so, some books so, and music so they sent one yeah so they sent one sing, simple dot in the middle and there were if you can see it from the, uh, like a distance the image then you can see just lines over here okay so those are not actually lines those are binary codes for the location of the earth with respect to a the pulse. pulsar oh, pulsars wow. in different directions so voyager was sent when was it was sent recently right? no i mean at least 20 25 years ago right yeah it's been oh, yes, yes, quite yes. a while it's been okay. quite a while all right amazing so basically that is one of one like a guidance system the like gps for us with respect to the universe pulsars Amazing. they are so accurate they are and pulsars are caused due to the neutron stars in the di- between okay. middle so like if anybody has seen the previous streams or the summary or anything yeah. they know what neutron stars are so neutron stars are the ones causing the pulsars brilliant okay so these are okay uh, uh, the way that you can navigate through the universe could be through pulsars Yeah. So at some ah. point when interstellar travel happens, we will be using the pulsars to say, "Is pulsar the right level?" Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> like, I'm a cosmic highway. Pe <laughs> Brilliant. There, there is a book on like there is not a book on this, but the title of a book is inspired by this. Turn left at Orion. Oh wow! It's an observational astronomy book. So like, if amateur astronomers read it very quite often. Very nice. I read it, it when I was in the ninth grade. So like, just looking at the sky, what's given in the book. अगर लाइट सोर्स है सामने एंड अब ये स्टार वी नो इट इज नियर टू अर्स बिकॉज इट्स लाइक यू नो वेरी ब्राइट 
एंड वी कैन सी जो छोटे छोटे डॉट्स है दे आर इन द बैकग्राउंड वी कैन टेल बिकॉज उनका लाइट हमारे इधर इतना स्प्रेड होके नहीं आ रहा है दैट इज अ वेरी बेसिक थिंग वी ऑब्जर्व ऑन अर्थ एंड द सेम ऑब्जर्वेशन वी यूज स्पेस के लिए एंड वी रियलाइज की ओ डिस्टेंस बहुत ज्यादा है एंड इट्स देर आर मोर थिंग्स इन इट दैन वॉट वी थॉट अबाउट so then they were like andromeda galaxy one day and that was a stepping stone in astronomy because right. it opened gates for um, so many fields like baad mein aaya ki yo universe kaise bana we finally figured out ki oh, there are more of us galaxies yeah and so basically our perspective just swelled up yes yeah. yeah. so suddenly swelled the up. universe became bigger yeah for us yeah yes. for us interesting um and this is just a picture of a galaxy in different wavelengths yeah this yeah, yeah this you showed us last time also and it's so fascinating yes. so it's in multi wavelength so basically but over you here you can see that okay it's zooming in why <laughs> so over here you can see that um you can see roughly the same structure in many wavelengths so like right. you can you, you can't you can distinguish literally kid this is same galaxy in um all these wavelengths all these but, all these wavelengths X-ray. just x ray ko chhod ke but okay Got um khair but okay so like you can literally say that ki these are the same galaxy pictures wow. but in some cases like there are some things like they are active galactic nuclei which we term them hmm. so agn so agn basically what is a nuclei nuclei is a center right right so what is what is at the center a black hole right so when the when the black hole is a supermassive black hole which we call it as a smbh supermassive black hole and it is active yeah then we term it as a active galactic nuclei and its host galaxy oh its host galaxy so our the, the, the black hole at the center of milky way is not a active um, black hole but is a supermassive black hole Okay. It is a SMBH, but not a not active. active. Okay. So we can we cannot term our galaxy as the galaxy hosting a super uh, a active galactic nuclei. What is AGN. the difference between active and non-active? So the um, activity depends upon the accretion in the level and the mass and the size of the black hole, the density of black hole. Okay. So how fast is it accreting material? How fast is it eating up? So just to be clear. the hmm. reason that galaxies have that shape hmm that hmm. inward spiral is because spiral. at the center there is a black hole that is sort of spinning ah uh, yes yeah. so like basically yes but uh, galaxies yeah. don't have particularly that shape okay. there are many yeah. things there are irregular galaxies with little no shape <coughs> okay there are elliptical there are spiral there are types in ellipticals there are types in spiral so about okay. these agents so basically uh, something about active galactic nuclei uh, these are the galaxies hosting these are qso termed as qso quasi stellar object oh yeah why such because the activity of the black hole is so much high that it outshines the entire galaxy yeah visible to us so like we cannot see the galaxy we just can see one single spot of light one because, single source of light because okay. the activity of the black hole is so much high oh, that nice. it is it acts as a point source wow. rather so, than a expand uh, so the like, light from the entire galaxy is sort of uh wiped out wiped out because yes. of the black hole yes but it is a galaxy wow B- b- uh, this we can understand by the spectroscopic study the spectra that we receive Oh, the emissions wow. in particular wavelengths that we receive that is crazy absorbance absorption and emission lines that we receive right so basically that's why they are termed as qsos that is quasi stellar objects now the quasi stellar objects in radio wavelengths are termed as quasars right quasi stellar radio ob- sources these both are quite often used i know uh, analog like uh, sy- yeah. synonymically yeah. in many so in many literatures on many things because almost many of them emit in majorly emit in radio right. there are also radio quiet um qsos but um uh, that point being a different point so basically uh, they are termed as qu- quasars no so so now 
these quasars also have some morphology we will come to it yeah. so basically first of all this morphology this is this a general the galaxy morphology which um, one this this uh, the one picture. you see on the screen no so, so uh, these are all uh, it, they all start uh, off type, as oh, classification elliptical. classification hmm. basically oh no they don't start off as elliptical so hubble hubble uh, hu- this is known as the hubble steering fork hmm. this was uh, proposed by edwin hubble but Oh, he because it is shaped like thought, a tuning fork. Okay. Ah, yes. Yeah. So he lovely. first at he at first thought that these are um, this is the way how galaxies go, yeah. but not quite. So like the this this is a E zero. What yeah. is a E zero? Uh-huh. So like the they are circular. Huh. L circular. And then, they, and then they just expand elliptical more and more. Uh, unki kya bolte hai usko E. The E gets bigger bigger. Yeah. So hmm. it expands. and then they it comes a spiral so a circular spiral okay so this is not a uh, this is not a methodology from which galaxies go ahead but still and and they are all th- spinning oh uh, yes just to be clear yes they the black holes are spinning center. the thing uh, the, the, the the mass is rotating around them but yes they are spinning so basically these are the spirals so two types of spirals are there s a uh, s and s b's So okay. S and S B is like uh, S B is are barred spirals. So like in the between, you can see a bar and then the spiral arms. Oh. Bar and the spiral arms, or the bar and one spiral arm or two spiral arms from the bar. There is a bar in between. You can distinguish yeah, the yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 like this. And these normal are normal spirals. So like one point or a point source, a uh, uh, globe, glo- glo- and a, and a spiral. Unbelievable. Then, okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, these are some like um, the ones that we have observed in different shapes. Yeah, <coughs> is that the pinny what pinwheel? Pinwheel what? galaxy. Okay, there's something called as the cigar. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> okay, I don't even want to read this. <laughs> <laughs> the whirlpool galaxy. There is yeah. a whirlpool galaxy. Are you serious? <laughs> Sex tennis, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I was so trying not to so, go so, so there. So basically, this is uh, this is uh, in the uh, <laughs> constellation of Sextinus, because a. Uh, so I um, just don't want to go there. Like, I why do I name it? There is M thirty one, M one o four. There is M G C eight ninety one. Good names, yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, you can see over I here. I can totally imagine uh, astrophysics students having a blast <laughs> with this. <laughs> So NGC one three six five. You can you, when you can see this. So there is a bar in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Can, uh, distinguish that NGC one three six five from the whirlpool galaxy. You can see whirlpool is a normal spiral, and this yeah, is a bar barred spiral. Right. So one second. I don't know if they can see your uh, arrow mark. Uh, can you see? Can you see the cursor, guys? Yeah, but... uh, chat. Can you see your uh, Atharva moving his cursor? No, uh, yeah. <laughs> minal, it's minal. Oh, minal. Oh, one second. <laughs> you know, saying probably the same guy who named Uranus. किसको पता यार? You know, I have not yet understood. They can see. Yeah, they can see. They can see. All right. Okay. okay. So I also gave the name, so no worries over there. NGC one three six five and the Whirlpool Galaxy. So you can, if you can compare. One is a barred and one is a um, well, normal yeah. spiral. Spiral, yeah. Uh, uh, ha, huh, okay. If you if you are uh, huh, the one more problem with this um, classification is that you can see this only from uh, if the galaxy's uh, huh. orientation is orientation. at a certain angle. Oh, so yeah. if you can see in the M one zero four, the third from left in the top. Yeah, row, sombrero. The sombrero. Oh, okay. that's a hat. M one zero four. Yeah. Yes. So basically, um, it is. um head off. it's like a lateral view so we can't actually see what's going on in the middle if we have a bar if we know, if we don't oh. similarly in the eight, ngc 891 right the one on the extreme right top yes <coughs> so basically uh, the and there are many uh, irregular galaxies like arp z30 uh, top top bottom corner oh so this so that's is, a irregular galaxy right this is very interesting uh Why should why should galaxies be flat? Uh, What do you mean flat? I mean, uh, why are they ah, matlab, spiraling in one for us, plane? For us, it's a true two D structure. Yeah, I mean, why why should it be in a plane? Why not 
in all directions i mean they are in all directions it's no not... but uh, huh, oh, for us it's in a plane uh, it, it has everything to do with fluid physics so like how they orient themselves how stuff orients they... themselves uh, yeah. if what if if some dust clouds or dust particles are uh, moving in certain direction then like energy principle or you can Achha. call it something like that okay that's very interesting hmm. and it also depends on the um, stellar halo and the galactic halo okay i don't know what those are so Maybe yeah are. we will come to them okay so, and the year is stellar halo so yeah. see you can see there like stars idhar udhar bhi hai but majority of things are in the same plane mostly because of the force fields between those right stars and so basically it's locally. a gaussian if yeah. you know what a gaussian is no of course so like gaussian is a graph a bell shaped curve bell shaped curve <laughs> oh gaussian curve okay 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 yeah. got it so got basically it. majority sits in the standard deviation area from yeah. me correct correct so yeah that's the thing um and this is uh, our milky way and here is our oh song. hi that's that's, that's awesome. home that's home awesome <laughs> it bars spiral as you can see very clearly yes yeah. oh so our milky way has a bar spiral Uh, I mean, no, no, it doesn't. It, I, I'm not sure if it is because I was like when I was a kid, they used to say Whirlpool Galaxy is. This photo is also bad. But this is from European Space Agency, so I'm pretty sure okay. what they're talking about. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the idea of the. You have to believe them. You, you, you learn in UK. You have to believe them. <laughs> नहीं तो मुझे नहीं मिलेगा एस्ट्रोनॉट बनने ओके अम सो या अथर इफ यू सो यस सो आई आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट एक्टिव गैलेक्टिक न्यूक्लियाई एंड द क्यूएसओस या द क्वाजिस्टर ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द गैलेक्सीज दैट होस्ट देम दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड एज यू कैन सी द ब्लैक कर्व एट द एंड दैट एफआर1 ब्लजार एंड एफआर2 सो एफआर इज फैनर ऑफ राइली क्लासिफिकेशन फैनर ऑफ राइली क्लासिफिकेशन यस ओके भाई 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 रुक 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 <laughs> ये पूरा दीज आर जस्ट नेम्स दीज आर जस्ट नेम्स जस्ट नेम्स सो बेसिकली दिस ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन द एंगल यू आर सीइंग द गैलेक्सी ओके या ओके दीज आर लाइक द पॉइंटर्स फॉर दैट सो जीरो इज ओवर हियर सो जीरो इज एट द ब्लजार हां हेड ऑन इज जीरो ओके सो इफ यू आर कन्वेंशन स्ट्रेट अहेड हां स्ट्रेट and no, over here 5 degrees then something then something then there are so basically these uh, the, due to the super massive and ga- uh, active um, black hole in the middle ha huh. morphology changes a bit so yeah. um, there is an accretion disk huh. for every black hole every black hole has accretion disk Uh, if, you, if you look at, huh, yeah. if you look at correct if you look at the i think we spoke about this scale. last time also ha huh, yes yeah. we spoke yeah. so basically if you look at the scale then up to say 1 cm from the center there is yeah. a accretion accretion disk okay okay so if you consider the black hole as a point object 1 cm tak it there is a accretion disk from that to 100 into 10 raised to 6 so like 10 raised to 8 cm tak ha huh. there is this dusty torus the torus the toroidal shape structure Okay, so right now we are trying to visualize the ga- uh, black hole. Hmm. So, uh, surround, so, uh, so, so uh, the structure surrounding <coughs> an active galactic nuclei. Correct, which is a black hole. Ah uh, yes. An active black hole. The yeah, active supermassive black hole. So black hole hai, light hai, dust particles. Dust cloud hai. Dust cloud so hai. Just imagine the scale. One centimeter tak you have the accretion disk. Got it. From that to Ten raised to eight centimeters, thug. Right. So like this, and I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So much, much greater. Yeah. So the so, dust, the dust cloud is that big. Ha. Huh. And okay. so, so basically, till one centimeter, suppose the gravitational pull is very huge. So there is the accretion disk. Right. It keeps it it keeps on falling, and therefore that dust cloud orients itself in the toroidal direction. So like it keeps on falling, and that's why the toroid. so this is basic f- uh, fluid physics just imagine um hukka lete waqt when you see in videos ha huh. people are there wo jo smoke rings karte hai ha 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 so that 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 means that the the the, the, the 
fluid or the gas is stable in the ring direction na right oh abhi kaam ki baat ke raha hu acha so how do you use astrophysics to blow the perfect smoke ring is what you are saying how do you physics idhar bhi hai udhar bhi hai idhar chote level pe udhar bahut bade level pe so basically something of that sort happens over there obviously there are involvement of many such things as shocks waves and everything yeah. Yeah. but gist is wohi hota hai okay so what so are we looking at here we are looking at cygnus a i guess right yeah yes this is cygnus a in x ray x ray this is very nice that um jaise apan ne galaxies dekhi pichle images mein in the multi wavelength thing we could see that this is the same galaxy in like we can figure out that this is the same structure in right. different wavelengths right but as you can see this is in x ray so like chandra x ray ka image hai shayad se mostly yeah. so you can see the supermassive black hole at the center yes they, there are these jets if you can read that x ray jet yes so x x ray jet is basically jets that um emit black in black hole X-ray. farts <laughs> um yeah i wouldn't yeah. say I, they, they are electron jets basically so imagine this as the ion sure. positive ion and yeah. these are the, these are these electron j- jets is this part of the sextanus uh, hmm. no this is okay. this is cygnus a all right cool cool uh, 3c405 cool cool ha huh. so basically uh, and there is this hot spot at the end hot spot a and hot spot b uh-huh. hot spots at the end of the so this is just a structure of how it is there are jets so can you just go to the previous image the morphology so as you can see this is the jet yeah so this jet is um, things getting ejected from the center from the central area yeah damn you meenan <laughs> <laughs> okay so acche buddhi ko brush kar rahe ho yaar so basically these are the things that uh, the central uh, region emits The, near the accretion disk everything they, they throw it out right and these extend to very uh, large distances very large distances it's like uh, ek light year bahut acha bahut light years mein bahut yeah. light years mein not even one bahut light years mein so you can yeah. pick up uh, this jet of other galaxies even here yeah right because it's ho bhi raha hoga apne idhar kuch pata nahi pata nahi got it got it got it so basically these are the jets now same galaxy visualized in uh, same age uh, quasar visual oh no, no whoa wait ha huh, same quasar <coughs> visualized in other wavelengths so in vla 6 cm so vla is very large array huh. 6 cm wavelength it, uh, it it takes uh, the data of 6 cm wavelengths emitted so you can see actual this jet morphology how the jet looks like and right, these the, are like real pictures dono taraf दोनों हाँ, दोनों तरफ दोनों तरफ होते हैं सो यू कैन सी सी देर इज अट्री बिटवीन द जेट्स सो दिस इज कॉज बाय समथिंग कॉल्ड द डीपोलराइजेशन व्हिच आई एम वर्किंग ऑन बट ओके सो देर इज अट्री प्लग प्लग सो वन सेकेंड व्हाट इज गेटिंग एमिटेड सो यू द क्लिक फॉर द सेम Yeah. Uh, orientation same thing so if you can go to the previous one ha huh. so over here you can literally see how we can see it or oh, this is basically animated form of the angle at various angles that we can see right so if you can i don't know how to pause this but yeah when when you see it face on hmm. face on jab dekhta hai then you can only see one jet coming out from the right uh, from one side from our yeah. side so that doesn't mean that there is no jet at the behind there is no counter jet this is crazy one second what you're saying uh, do all black holes behave like this no, uh, no it depends on the activity okay activity so of the black hole active black holes which are also super massive hmm. active all, galactic nuclei yes all behave like this yes right 
and ours is not mostly wide. they emit mostly uh, so mostly they emit they emit in radio quiet and radio loud right. radio loud mein ye bahut hua hai there are theories in radio quiet but not many observations in radio quiet yet right no so up yes. my milky way is not like no this. it's super massive just it's not active just hum log super massive hai to usme ye jet nahi hota hmm uh, nahi hota nahi hota super yeah. massive nahi hota active nahi hai kyunki they don't have the tor- toroidal shape in between and then it all depends so like wow so okay I so ha- if, I if you can see this face this on before. if you can see this face on you can see only one jet coming out oh one second you can you cannot see the counter jet uh the obvious yeah yeah yeah, yeah one second Yeah, tell me. Uh, there, yeah. there is something in problem in the. Yeah, yeah, it's sorted, it's sorted. Okay, fine. So basically, if you can see this face on, there is only one jet coming at you. Right. You cannot see the opposite counter jet that we call. Got it. So you cannot see that, but it doesn't mean that it is not there. It it might be trying to communicate to us using some other methodology, some right. other spectra, some other thing. so not much information is there up till now in that region of the counter jets for the face on galaxies for the blazars and uh, as you can see there like they orient themselves uh, for us they orient themselves in different <laughs> angles yeah. so basically they emit in different waves this is super fascinating so if you find somebody i mean what am i saying <laughs> if you find some gal- uh, <laughs> black hole emitting a jet on one side it it means mm-hmm. that it's also there on the other side uh it should be there on the other side yeah. like why not but okay. we don't know it so okay. like if we can see it face on and we can see just one jet and we cannot see anything uh, anything trying to communicate the information to us yeah. like some emission or something then we can they say we can't actually comment at what is on the other side <coughs> understood hmm. very cool <coughs> it is i have one question with this because um black hole hai right right so hmm. it's coming from a center so aage se aa raha hai aur peeche se aa rahi hai you are saying right ha but uh, we have always seen black hole ka ekdam flat wala picture so you know whatever goes in the space time that we talk uh, about yes. where is it exactly where is it bending kaha so basically uh, these are emissions so you assume in this case to, to uh, in mm-hmm. this case in these pictures uh, for a black hole to be a point object mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So it's not emitting from the point actually. It's emitting from the accretion disk. It's Escr- some, huh. something in between of the accretion disk and other things. So like it ejects some material. Mm-hmm. So this is so opposite okay. of what we had visualized black holes it's to be. To, it's due to the black hole spinning and the energy. So it has to eject. So we uh, always think exactly. about black holes as uh, pulling things in. We hmm. never think about black holes emitting jets. It's the whole But concept. But isn't it is like something? Um, not it's not very obvious it's not very intuitive but action and reaction so like if there is something then it has something has to be there which opposes it which wow. counters it yeah see yeah it yeah. kind of answers a lot of questions yeah <laughs> it's brilliant okay but it's pretty much a good hypothesis that action and reaction should play a role should be a universal law but it is not yeah no so yeah. what happens there is different thing about what happens to the black holes which don't emit this unka kya chal raha hai uh well anyway so yeah this is something about the motion of black holes i just wanted to show this as yeah. to how scientists see so we don't actually see the pictures hmm aise satellites se to pictures aate nahi so with these graphs we can tell ki oh iska energy लेवल और एक्स रे का ब्राइटनेस कि उसका रोटेशन कौन से साइड में है राइट एंड इट्स जस्ट फैसिनेटिंग टू थिंक अबाउट कि हाउ अ ग्राफ हैज सम हाउ बिकम आवर पिक्चर एंड यू नो वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग दैट टू पिक्चर आई इट्स लाइक मैट्रिक्स सो ऑन द राइट इज व्हाट वी एक्चुअली डिराइव एंड इन द लेफ्ट इज लाइक एन आर्टिस्ट इंप्रेशन यस या आई मीन सो व्हाटएवर फैसिनेट्स द सिटीजंस इज जस्ट द आर्टिस्टिक इंप्रेशन राइट Right. We do, we do this nothing like this. We this do is, nothing like this. That is true of reality, yeah. also. I mean, reality is just electric signals. We create all Meaning. this. Perceive, yeah. to perceive, perceive. to make make us uh, make us feel that we know something. We yeah like it. Keep uh, keep things exciting. 
बेसिकली इट्स अ मोटिवेशन ये पसंद आ रहा है ये करते जाओ या या एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन आइडेंटिटी इज द बिगेस्ट थिंग नो लाइक वी हैव क्रिएटेड इट आउट ऑफ नथिंग सो आइडेंटिटी इज एन आर्टिस्ट इंप्रेशन एवरीथिंग इज एन आर्टिस्ट इंप्रेशन आवर एक्जिस्टेंस इज आर्ट दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव कम टू एट दिस अमेजिंग सो बेसिकली साइंस मतलब आर्ट्स लो देन आर्टिस्ट ओह ड्यूड दैट इज सो ट्रू इट्स ये एन आर्टिस्ट यू कैन डू साइंस क्या मस्ट ड्राइंग दिस इज नॉट साइंस बट ओके दिस इज नाइस ड्राइंग दिस इज नाइस ड्राइंग This yeah. is not even done by art student. <coughs> this computer simulations, yeah. run code, particle simulations. Right, right. Now, Galaxies, Nam. Nam. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to paper. understand, so let's say if we read it in a paper, ki oh, ye galaxy. They say the name. You're like, oh, how do they name them? What does it mean? So it's just to say, ki let's say Messier thirty one is a galaxy or yeah. an object. Uh, Messier was a guy who actually kind of made a list of all the observational stuff he saw, and he was like, "Oh, this is the list, yeah. and ye ye is ka location ye hai." Now, how do they name it? Is uh, the name? पहले constellation कौन सा है देखते हैं और कौन से list में है? हाँ. Let's say Messier ने already वो record करके रखा है वो location वाला star और जो भी है object. Right. Then then uh, उसके लिस्ट में है तो दिल नेम इट मेसियर एंड देन उस चीज का पोजिशन ऑन दैट लिस्ट थर्टी वन होगा न्यू जनरल कैटलॉग देर मेनी कैटलॉग दैट पीपल यूज टू नेम दीज थिंग्स सो सो एन जी सी इज एन ग्लोबलर क्लस्टर कैटलॉग सो समथिंग सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द साइट Uh, of astronomical union something i'll put up the link in the chat ha, i have ha. sent a thorough link people can go and check on that site they actually you, explain you will a get lot of much more what uh, is information this? over there i mean what information will they get uh how astronomical observational take? astronomical information technical okay. information that they might be explain the entire process in it naming and everything like themes for everything got it okay So now we talk about how far away these things that we see are. Yeah. Right. So we have talked about redshift last while is me. Uh, wavelength kind of helps us. Uske wajah se like as distance increases, uska color change hota hai, and you know there is a shift in like there's red and blue. Right. And by that. So can... you have or we have mentioned this redshift uh, concept hmm. in the. previous talks right so we have mentioned is what we call the doppler shift hmm. yeah but over here in terms of galaxies or in terms of cosmological scales these are scales which are cosmological scales so like um, over here we use the concept of cosmological redshift yeah so it's not same as the doppler redshift well there is one uh, kinematic component of the um, cosmological redshift which is the doppler redshift but as whole uh, cosmological redshifts are uh, something that are caused due to okay so how can i keep this so like the wavelength that which the radiation is originally emitted hmm. is lengthened as it travels through it so like due to relativity there is time contraction and length uh, so like basically time dilation and length contraction my bad hmm. there is time dilation and length contraction so whether uh the time is getting contract uh, the the length is getting contracted or the length is getting lengthened so that the the that property of the wavelength as we receive it during its course of arrival is something as called the cosmological redshift or the blue shift okay a wave traveling to through space in ha a I wave mean, traveling through space it's i mean i feel like there are some similarities with the doppler effect also It's mm-hmm. uh, yes, 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 yes. Right? There it's are, right? but um, yeah. Doppler effect we considered with light. This is with entire electromagnetic uh, spectrum, sound. whatever. Ha. Huh. Or ma- mainly with sound or light. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there are different formulas for sound and light. Yeah. But okay. So over here, it's specifically for the electromagnetic spectrum. E- whichever wavelength the object emits, it emits in these. So so basically, it emits the wavelength is there of this length. Suppose it's coming from me to you. Then it will either increase, expand, expand, or, or it will either contract. Why till it reaches you? So that 
change is the cosmological red shift or the blue shift it is expanding then it's red shift it is compressing oh okay something okay so this is this is how we use this is what we use to decide uh whether how far a galaxy is and also I'm guessing if the galaxy is moving towards you or away from you. Away from you. And me. what is the speed it is moving with Brilliant. away from you? Brilliant. And Brilliant. So this is how we figure. So mostly it is it. away from us. Andromeda yeah. is towards us because it's coming us. Uh, it's You're coming to collide. collide. Oh really? Yeah, it's going to be Andromeda collision Ouch. here. <laughs> okay, so that would. Uh, I mean, a lot of planets and stars would get destroyed in that. Everything will get destroyed. Oh, Not okay. really. Excellent. Ah, matlab, oh, it, it will mix. It, it will be a complicated process. These are very large a, systems. It will be a mess. Yeah, it's just gonna be a very... something. It's a mess. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. So, with redshift, that is how we kind of figured out that oh, the universe is expanding hmm. because some things are moving away from us. So, or be jada jage hai matlab. Right. So right. this is. Where it started, for our. I guess. Oh, I guess I see we don't where this know. is going. But hmm. I guess. I guess we don't know whether it is. Uh, it is going to collide or just pass by or fly by. Yeah. Uh, do we know that? I don't think we so. It's just an interaction, gal- interacting galaxies, right? So like, it's, are they collide? just going to pass pass by, interact without a collision of the black hole, or the black holes are going to collide? Black holes won't collide. Oh, That's hang given. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, one second. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta close the window. Oh. Uh, bow bow op in the chat. <laughs> okay. Bye. <clears throat> Galactic meet. <laughs> there is one nice, one nice guy. He commented, "I can understand this. That... This basic electromagnetics. कहीं तो काम आई नहीं." This should be uploaded as a podcast. All okay. right, it'll be like mixing kitchen and biryani together. Okay, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I, I like how everybody understands things in their own way. Maybe if, if they're having dinner, they'll understand it like kitchen and biryani. That's awesome. No, nah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So to um, understand the Andromeda and Milky Way ka collision wala thing, there is a video by Vsauce about. What yeah. we will miss? It's gonna happen in बहुत सारे सालों के बाद, right? So, okay. Yeah. There's time. a video. Yeah. So, yeah, there is a video where he talks about that, so people can watch it if they want. Okay. What is the video again? Can you put uh, it on the link? Uh, what we will miss? मैं Discord पे डालूँगी बिकल. इधर मेरा phone मर रहा है. चलेगा. ठीक है. ठीक है. मैं इधर डाल दूँगा. We'll find it. Yeah. Please fix OBS. Uh, OBS looks okay, yeah. Huh? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Surface brightness, uh, brightness fluctuations. Yeah. So it's a very long term. मुझे ये terminology नहीं होता. So I'm just going to explain it how I understand it. Yes, please. It. Yes. Yeah. So you're looking at your phone, and once you zoom in, you start seeing pixels. Yes. Right. So it's basically like oh, you're moving closer, and you see more detailed versions of what is there. Yeah. And once you move further away. You see the full picture. Yeah. Now pixels don't really work as individuals, like you know, not individuals. They interact and most yeah. of the season. But we're yeah. just gonna forget about that for a while. Yeah. But it's just to understand that. So that is how uh, we know how far away the galaxies are. Because let's say, if it's very far away, it will look like a blob. It's mm. a clean, so it's a smooth anda. Right. And if it is not far away, you will see oh. Uh, you I will think, see Athar was he there? Yeah, Athar just uh, disappeared. I think he'll come back probably. Okay. So if we are, uh, it's closer to us, we will see small, small dots that are the stars in the background. Perfect. It's very simple that way. Yeah. And that is um, a thing that we use to understand how far away these galaxies are. Um, then there comes the mass of a galaxy. How many times we say, "Oh, it weighs tons and <laughs> itna sara." Yeah. So how do we actually calculate that? There is a formula. There is a framework that we follow, and that framework is basically uh, the mass inside a given distance from the center can be calculated using the orbital speed, k square. Orbital speed is 
found using the doppler shift i'll right. explain how yeah uh, just keep that in mind for a while and then uh, the distance from the center upon the gravitational constant hmm. uh, since it is a constant wo hame pata hai uska value kya hai and these things we can observe using a telescope and calculate them hmm. and our mass mil gaya galaxy ka hmm. it's as simple as that like the mass oh, of okay. the entire galaxy so all the planets all the stars together oh you, the ones that we observe yeah right. spiral galaxies ke liye this is the formula okay, so yes okay. but um, then we say that we we, 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 know, we know that then uh, the mass is not like the mass we calculate and the mass we assume it's not uh, equal okay ha <laughs> Some incompleteness. Uh, I think we'll yeah. come to that. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Okay. So the uh, uh, calculation is different for an ep- elliptical. Yeah, ah, it's yes. different. Oh. The working is different completely. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, for an elliptical galaxy, there's okay. It depends on the shape. So it's a constant. You can say it's a factor that depends on the shape of the galaxy, huh. and the angle. Jo Athar bol raha tha. the orientation kind of affects our calculation as well right. so we can't say anything for sure we just know ki ha abhi ke liye itna kafi hai that's it i okay <clears throat> so there's velocity dispersion and the distance the stars are from the galaxy center it's as similar to the one picture why is wala. this important this is <laughs> something that there is will... old that is uh, things i have developed on this And this yeah. is the basic, like what we can assume in astronom astrophysics mainly, not astronomy, astrophysics. Hmm. Okay. So calculating a mass of a galaxy helps us understand that its, uh, you know, its movement. Many, many things. Its movement and also uh, <coughs> what what gravitational <coughs> pull it will exert on other galaxies around it. Exactly. So, so if we... Andromeda and Milky Way are going to collide or fly by. Hmm. their masses and their gravitational pull will have a big role to play right when this happens that that is going to be the role to play right. that is the only so that's why that so basically gal- there is this galaxy interaction as now you have asked about like what is the ro- what happens in when they collide exactly so like there there is this concept of galaxy interaction there can be two galaxies which are interacting mm-hmm. in various ways so like they are coming towards huh. each other Yeah. And just flying by, nothing like not major effect. So like, yeah. uh, the ones that in the arm in the, if it spiral, then ones in the exterior will get somewhat affected, and then there would be morphological changes. But it is just a flyby. Another is um, collision, but like it's like, I say, Ake collide, okay, वापस अपने रास्ते अलग से, not रास्ते, but हाँ scratch. So basically, in that the black hole doesn't collide. Right. There is mass which collides. There, there are things which happen. The black holes start rotating, revolving around their around center either. of mass because their distance is very small as compared when they were um, very far apart. And there is this then again that can lead into black hole collision. Oh, one is that one. is that what leads to those spinning black holes that uh, ah yes we, we yes, use yes, for yes, gravitational yes, waves. Yes. Yes. So basically, Damn. that is one of the ga- uh, galaxy interaction images or uh, galaxy yeah. interaction theory. So basically, what happens is, um, if there is a seventy m mass, so uh, like mass is m. Let's say the oh, mass yeah. is m. Mm. Um, the ratio of the masses is something like if we say like common mass m. इसके ऊपर देखते हैं कितना मास है. Right. So like, if one black hole is of mass seventy m, huh. if one is of fifty m, if they collide. Then there will not be a black hole of mass 120 m. Right. There will be a black hole of mass 90 m, and the rest, rest of mass will get converted into energy and will be blown out. That is what is blown out in the form of gravitational waves or any emission, basically energy yeah. given out. Super cool. Okay. So like it just in the atom and where two things be, use. This must be happening all the time. Yeah, it is happening somewhere We're or the other. Unaware the of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So somebody sent a super chat, uh, Aditi yeah. uh, Patel, with a pretty nice idea actually. Can we plan pop science book reviews with these two? Yeah, sure. Which is actually a pretty fun thing. We can talk about. Uh... So uh, we have to read the books now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know how much you hate reading, Atharva. 
so no we can actually discuss isaac asimov i was thinking of oh that. my god oh yeah. okay that yeah. is a one nice that, i want to read it yeah we can so it, i please. think isaac asimov discussions would be super fun yes yeah. uh yeah we should definitely do that and maybe some comics also i think there are comics on astrophysics Yeah, Let's yeah. see. We'll, we can, we can do Marvel. Aram se. वो लोगों ने Ant Man में quantum physics वाले. Yeah, exactly. That'll be super fun. We can. We should totally do that. Yeah. Done. 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 Oh wow. Okay. Who would have thought astrophysics would lead us to Marvel comics? Amazing. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um. So I wanted to say something about what you said about how these affect galaxies का mass and gravitational pull affect each other. Yeah. So I was reading a paper and it's about LMC. There is a a galaxy near our Milky Way and it उसका जो mass है उसका gravitational pull is kind of stretching out our Milky Way galaxy. My God. So yeah, like not एकदम extremely, but yeah. there has been a stretch and अब हमारा लोकेशन भी लाइक यूनिवर्सल जो लोकेशन है वो भी चेंज हुआ है चेंज हो रहा है या एंड इट्स काइंड ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ इट इज गोइंग ऑन राइट नाउ एज वी सिट इन द सो बेसिकली वी से दैट द एंड्रोमेडा इज कमिंग टुवर्ड्स अस बट इट्स लाइक दोनों एक दूसरे के पुल में एक दूसरे की तरफ जा रहे हैं जस्ट दैट जस्ट दैट वी आर इन दिस रेफरेंस फ्रेम वी फील दैट इट इज कमिंग टुवर्ड्स अस आइंस्टाइन Reference, frame, frame of reference. Frame of reference. Frame of reference. Ah, reference. Basically so people on Andromeda is yeah. like the Milky Way is coming towards us. Huh. Right. If there are. And then people on some other galaxy is like they are both going towards each other. Right. Of course. So yeah. cool, man. This is so much like relationships. <laughs> you can find parallels anywhere. <laughs> This is so cool. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Third person's perspective is basically the everything is everything depends on the perspective and where you are looking at from what perspective you are looking at. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, have you guys? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Give somebody, no, I mean somebody was talking about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is a great thing oh, to yeah. discuss. Oh yeah, yes, it's a great. We can nice. do that. Asimov's yeah, Foundation that. series would it be great? Mm-hmm. Discussing movies like Interstellar. Okay. Interstellar, somebody had said. Okay. Um, so basically, that guy who is a director, Christopher Nolan, right? Yeah. Ha ha. He makes such movies that <laughs> are just <laughs> right for discussion. Are uh, right for discussion. Oh, we can Time, do Tenet. Tenet. Oh, we can do Tenet. Yes. I... Tenet. Okay. Anyway. Meenal is already <laughs> clutching her uh, for uh, clutching her head. Yeah. People, people will be like tenet confusing thi. In ke discussion ne aur confusion kar diya. <laughs> yeah. Aditi Patel, thanks for the super chat. Okay. Yeah. Discuss movies like Interstellar for sure. That's we'll what we that. can do. Okay. Um, okay. So what I said about pehle thoda about how we can there is this orbital speed with Doppler shifts of twenty one centimeter line radiation from the atomic hydrogen gas. Yeah. It's basically ye. So when you see it's moving, <coughs> the movement, the Doppler shift that uh, Arthur was talking about. Yeah. So there is a red shift. Then what concept direction me ja raha? You can tell it, right? Ah, oh, spiral, eh? Na. So huh. like it's spiraling inside. Oh. And then with blue, it's coming towards you. So. Of course. So basically, if you're here and it's spiraling over there with a greater velocity, then it's like going into the black hole away from you. Maybe that there is one object. <coughs> Like I'm not talking about this in the time of days, minutes, years, yeah. like millions of years. There might be one object which you see now, but after millions of years, that might be that might come into a blue shift because yeah. it, like it's following a path around yeah. the black hole, it's a spiral path. Pure circle, ah. karke dusre side se. So aane. like maybe tere, tu, tumare liye it's like uh, just now it's going away, but later on you see that oh it's coming towards us. Then it again going away. So like perspective. <laughs> so true. So true. I mean, it is it is essentially uh, people have trouble visualizing spirals in uh, in everything. So mm-hmm. I, I I used to think of how it it's uh, when you say perspective, from one perspective you might think that something is a dot, but if you change your perspective it's a line, and if you mm. change your perspective again what looks like a line is actually a wave. Yeah. Mm. And so things are going up and down. Up so and basically. Down. intrinsic dimensions are there yeah, intrinsic every, dimension and every if you change your dimension uh, if you change your view again 
a, a wave could be a spiral. Yeah. Because a spiral, when you look at it from the side, is actually like a wave. And hmm. yeah, it's just yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay, yes, I I understand. Yeah, it's in it's incredible how, uh, because uh, like the difference. The reason I'm I was thinking of this was even in uh, the human body, mm-hmm. everything is a wave. Uh, how do you measure a human body? Oh. Is through waves. So yeah. your heart rate is a wave. Your breathing is infrared a wave. radiation. Yeah, your think. your body temperature is a wave. Every hormone level in your body is a wave. So your thyroid level at the morning is not in the evening. It, it's because everything emits in electromagnetic radiation. No, no, no. I'm not talking of that. I'm talking of levels themselves. So your, yes. Yeah. Okay. So they oscillate. They wave, yes. Wave. Yes. Everything we, fluctuates. We, we cannot call it as a wave. We call it as a periodic function basically mm. yeah periodic function. it repeats after itself exactly so. and that that waveform is how you measure somebody's uh, entire existence so your uh, intracranial pressure is a wave uh, every cell ka electro uh, uh, kya bolte hai usko? Uh, your uh, baseline electric uh, what do you call it conductance oh okay that also mm-hmm. keeps changing uh, with every sodium ion going in, potassium going out, it keeps changing. Mm-hmm. At, at the molecular level, everything is a wave. So I, I really love it that we are discussing astrophysics and it's the same thing. Everything is a wave. Because physics sits at the base of everything. So it's like, yeah, okay, Amazing. we can explain everything from physics. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, it's, the, it's like the ultimate theory. science. Yeah. String theory kind of goes on about this only. It's a wave we have. Right. And everything is waves just emitting in different forms or right. like in the frequency of the hair. Yeah. I totally get why string theory came. Yeah. So, okay. Go on. It, it, the string theory is just a uh, popular name for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, theoreticians use it as a M theory. Okay. M theory is same. String theory. Okay. String theory sounds good, right? Yeah, it does. Again. Yeah. M31 doesn't sound good, but Andromeda sounds good. True. True. Galactic groupism. Okay. Yeah. So all these galaxies are again dancing with each other. It's like a So dance. basically not only human is a social animal. Yeah. yeah. Galaxies are social yeah. objects. So... Uh, the galaxies come mutual gravity, put them together. Gravity is kind of the glue for our universe yeah. at this point. Yeah. And then just it's for like love. It's like glue and we can test theories from it because it is the everything for our universe. Gravity right. is everything. Right. Huh. Yeah, there's always a glue. Okay. <laughs> Poor cluster, rich cluster. Okay, this sounds like a book. <laughs> you have capitalized space on <laughs> as well. Um, so this is a rich cluster okay. and this is a poor cluster. It's where they are giving each other a lot of space. They're space not giving each other space. Very competitive. Not invading. Come on, not invading. Okay, come on. <laughs> very competitive, very capitalistic. We are in a poor cluster, by the way. Yeah, we are in a poor galaxy cluster. is in a poor, poor cluster. Really? Yes. Yeah. So, oh God! Even yes. in the universe level, we can't catch a break. We're in the third world uh, <laughs> galaxy. What is this? For uh, God's sake! I wonder what is the currency for the universe. Could it be? Is it gravity? No. No, it should be energy. Gravity is the language. Should be. Gravity is the language. Energy. It should be energy. Yeah, energy. it's the energy. But gravity is an energy. That's weird. Nah, okay. Yeah. Many people come a debate on that. Oh really? Oh that's very interesting. Gravity, yeah, yeah we should we should do one more on gravity. We should definitely. only those debate who have the capability of knowing things in it. <laughs> because you need to know complete the general the general theory of relativity even to comment on black holes theoretically. Yeah. Right. Not like in a pop science way, but theoretically. Uh, we are doing it in a very pop science way. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I mean you have to start from somewhere, right? Yeah. Local anyway. group complete. Oh wow. So this is our local this is our family. 
हमारी गैलेक्सी के रिश्तेदार जैसे मिल्की वे यहाँ पे ओके एंड देन देर अदर गैलेक्सी दैट वी सी एंड नॉट हैव नेम दम लियो और यू नो Because so according the constellation, so like Leo one, Leo two is Leo A is in the Leo <coughs> constellation. We it appears to us in the Leo constellation. Sextant A and Sextant B is in the uh, Sextant constellation. Okay. Again, these have various different names, but we yeah. uh, take them as these names. They yeah, have like a one. code for them, but these are the ones that we use so that newspaper में छापने के लिए easy रहेगा. Correct. So this is our group. These are yeah. the galaxies in our circle of friends. Yeah. Yes. So it consists of this. It has two large spirals, one small spiral, the elliptical, nineteen irregular galaxies, seventeen dwarf elliptical, five dwarf <laughs> elliptical, and then seventeen additional irregular and dwarf galaxies. Amazing. So, so basically, yeah. Each uh, galaxy cluster originates in some way. Why? Um, why is it? Yeah, uh, in one way, in one way, <coughs> in way it, in which each galaxy cluster originates. Okay. Um, there is a central galaxy, and there are satellite galaxies. Huh. Central is a big one. So basically, there is a halo, dark hmm. matter halo, in which gas uh, condenses and collapses to form the central galaxy, and relatively in the low areas, it collapses to form satellite galaxies. So that's where dark matter halo comes into play. Okay. Uh that was quite a tease. Ah <laughs> uh, so that's where a dark matter halo comes into play. Now the most important part in this is it ha- it has been hypothesized till now and it has been in work uh, ab bhi like it's like ongoing latest research and by latest i mean 2015s 2016s 18s yeah. 19s yeah. 20 also. So basically All the gal- uh, galaxy cluster properties, the mass distribution, where the galaxy should be, what mass the central galaxy would be, what morphology the central galaxy will take when it's at birth. Yeah. Co. Yeah. All depends on the mass of the dark matter halo. It is all the function of, of only the mass of the dark matter halo. So that one central thing decides all properties of everything in that. Galaxy. In that I, everything group. in that cluster. In that cluster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, so whether whether it's a poor cluster or a rich cluster, that also is decided by the the, the dark matter halo. It uh, it is in. We'll get to what it is. Yeah, is. we'll get to. Okay, so this is confusing though because uh, every galaxy. Oh no 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 oh oh you're saying every galaxy has a black hole, but now mm-hmm. we are talking of. Groups Many of galaxies, galaxies, yeah, Group clusters, of clusters and of galaxies. Uske beech me there is a dark halo. No, not 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 beech me, surrounded by a dark halo. Oh, around it, oh. a three D spherical thing type of Dome thingy. Kind of. Dome, ne toh jo kuch kena hai kalo usko. Wow, okay. A- and at the center there is a central galaxy. There has to be a central galaxy. Okay, so apna central galaxy kahan hai? Pata nahi, so I don't know about our halo, but okay. Acha. <laughs> Okay. But we so take that way huh. because we are the center of everything. Of course, this of is the this is the Earth all over again. This is yeah. the Copernican principle all over again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wow. So, <laughs> and the first person who says Milky Way is not the center of our uh, of our cluster is we'll going be to hang get to death. Hey, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Behind bars, according to <laughs> Greeks and everything. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I mean that's happening anyway. So. So what what are we looking at here? It looks super cool. This is um super cluster. So clusters then again form another big cluster, and this is that. Laniaca, I think that is how you say yeah, it. Yeah, Laniaca. Sure. Lan Laniaca. Okay. Laniaca or something. That's the name of the super cluster. Uh, hmm. the pop name. Yeah. Pop name. <coughs> so why does it look so uh, pretty? I mean, is that an artistic artistic impression? impression. Artistic. Yeah, I mean, anything that looks this pretty has to be an artistic impression. Obviously, uh, okay, it can. Our structures can be that much pretty. Our universe can be that much pretty, but, but we, we are not capable of imagining that much at once. Got it. Yeah. We don't have the capacity um, to photograph it like this. Yes. Right. We can't. Yeah. 
we can't as of now yeah, yeah. but yes in reality we can't i mean we iphone 13 have. maybe no <laughs> no <laughs> for sure yes <laughs> if they if they if they decide to uh, put cameras at the entire black then yes uh, entire back then yes <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So this red spot that you see that is our location basically, and this is like ah, uh, जो observed data है उस पे image बनाया. I don't even know what these lines are. What are these lines? These are another clusters, dude. And these lines, are... entire lines, or are they? they it's motion. Ribbons. What? They are like ah uh, galaxy के ribbons रहते हैं. हाँ galaxy. Oh galaxy ribbons. Okay, these are yeah. galaxy ribbons. Okay. Galaxy ribbons are basically ah uh, एक um blanket of cloud or jo bhi hai it's Haan. a blanket of hot gas ha so That's basically it. jaise wo relativistic jets ra- jets rehte hai electron jets in the in active galactic nuclei waise hi galaxies ke ribbons rehte hai hot gas plasmas plasma basically wait so you're saying that this is it is quite possibly actually looking like this hmm yeah, it's from an observed data so wow wow simulated from an observed data okay oh, yeah. yes, so it it me so i don't think so i don't uh, i don't think so <coughs> we get actual the images of the brain synapses like that right I that mean, network neuron that's also artistic impression from theory yeah, right absolutely so okay everything is artistic impression but that looks similar like uh, that we can assume that no, it is i mean neurons we can still see under the microscope and uh, but you you can see just one right you can see this vast network yes correct yeah hmm. so basically true. same thing Yeah, same story all over again. It's just so beautiful. Macroscopic and microscopic. Yeah, me chal hai. So. that is so true. I mean, we are. It's just so like maybe one spectrum. day if Voyager reaches this yeah. far, then it will send us a photo if it has the capability of sending us as the photo from this much distance. No, this is how much time will take. Ah, so I'm hypothesizing. I'm trying to hypothesize. 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 I'm मैम देख कहां पहुंचा ओह माय गॉड या वी हैड ऑर्डर्ड अ सुपर क्लस्टर फोटो कभी अभी तक नहीं है दो घंटा हो गया पैसा बर्बाद वापस लाओ रिफंड नहीं मिलेगा इसमें बेसिकली यस या सो नाउ ओ नाइस so basically nice the mass that which we that's see, the manmohan <laughs> that's the manmohan the the mass that which we see the mass that which we know are different right because so, there is a lot difference in there 85% of the mass that we cal- calculate know is basically the dark matter mass okay this is what we observed this is what we expected you can see the difference difference dekho and here you see the the spiral jo hai unke arms huh? they are like moving very slowly inside it right. and they are expanding so like it's yeah. not moving as one yeah yeah and you can see it is moving as a fluid sheet in, yeah. in what we expected but over here it's randomly moving not yeah. like randomly on a large scale <coughs> but la- randomly on a smaller Scale. Right. So what we expected was that the uh, galaxy will spin much more slowly. Hmm. Hmm. And it's actually and in spinning. much more uh, in much more Bollywood way. So like orderly fashion. Orderly fashion. And यहाँ पे एक ही center है. The, these things seem to be moving around. Around the one f- a single center, but the what we observe is like they have Multiple. many sub centers. Right. These sub centers are moving around sub 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 centers. then sub. they as a whole are more, like it's like a tree brilliant it's a subway ha huh. um so with when we see look at graphs mm-hmm. so that is not what we actually see right yeah so when we looked at the graph it was kind of like this is what we calculated and this is the measurement mm. like this is what we saw so there is a huge gap <coughs> and like there is a huge missing aspect of thing same with the mass of course yeah. <coughs> so like what we want the galaxy's mass to be it is not that mass it is much more greater uh, it, it's much more uh, smaller than what we want it to be so yeah. like the star or the dust or anything the galaxy might have yeah. that we can sense that we can see 
is just a 15% of the mass okay and hum log mass speed se calculate karte hai so these are kind of related hmm so distance from the center hmm uh so what you're saying is that center of the galaxy the closer something is to the center of the galaxy the more hmm. accurate our calculation was hmm yes and uh, as the, as the thing went further away from the mm-hmm. galaxy yes. we thought <coughs> we thought it will move a lot slower because obviously it is getting away from the central gravitational pull so exactly. slow chalega but it turns out ki nahi it is going as fast as uh, the the one side the center okay got okay it. you can say yeah. like this why this is the case so like if i talk about image fitting and image processing of these astro astro astronomy images like the image photometry if yeah. i talk about that then generally we fit a gaussian curve like a 2d gaussian over the image right you take the intensity point and you can see the intensity points or uh, like kam kam ho ja rahe as we go away from the center right so basically it's similar with the mass case uh, we can measure that very okay, because the distance between two points of mass is less yeah near the center whereas if we take those two points if we take sub, some two masses towards the end and we measure the distance between them it's too far so like space jada hai hmm. hmm like we have much more intergal intragalactic medium hmm. as we go uh, towards the to, uh, away from the center of the center understood to unka interaction kam hota hai to yeah hmm hmm that's hai. why there is much more what you call that hmm error in calculating or there is much more difference that we observe got it yeah so sun's that... velocity should be something like that but it is something yeah yes yeah it's so it's not just galaxies ka speed hi ajeeb hai hmm. obviously stars ka bhi bahut orbital speed ajeeb hai and you, you, it's just you just like you it doesn't make sense there's something everything doesn't match up like yeah, yeah. something is right. missing out kuch yeah. bhi ho raha hai there's a lot of uh, so basically the discrepancy mystery. between these two curves uh, hmm. is the evidence for a dark matter halo yeah yeah this is And so cool we can have so many memes on uh, songs mm mm-hmm. what is that song ye gajab ho raha hai karke kuch to song hai na ha i mean that could that whole thing could be about dark matter <laughs> could be yeah <laughs> <laughs> I believe researchers would <laughs> just leave and make songs. Be lyricists. Rather than like than Doesn't it talk of Suraj something like it talks Sur- of what? I mean that song lyrics. I want to see that song lyric now. I think it is about dark matter that song. And nobody Anything, appreciated it. Any song about not knowing what missing we, part what is there? What we feel is is dark matter. या कुछ तो मिसिंग है वो डार्क मैटर के बारे में सॉन्ग है ओ वाओ ओके लेट्स लेट्स मेक अ कलेक्शन ऑफ सॉन्ग्स दैट कुड बी अबाउट डार्क मैटर सो यू आर यू यू राइट राइट यू राइट सेड यू राइट या 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 सो राइट राइट आई मीन नो सो व्हाट इट विल टर्न आउट दैट आई प्रोबब्ली हैव रिटन यू हैव रिटन वन ऑन ग्रेविटी राइट यस यस दैट सो राइट ऑन ब्लैक मैटर नाउ या 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 I'll I'll write in a dark matter. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, so that is one case for dark matter. That is one thing that we observed. Now, dark matter is the name that we normally give it, but we like who it doesn't fit with what we observe. I say name de di hai to sound mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> And now this is the halos that, apne. uh bubble bhai was talking about yeah so again zooming in oh my god i <laughs> that's okay <It's> so... <laughs> uh so It's... one second so some okay this is good yeah this is good stuff idhar chala main udhar chala jaane ka main kidhar chala <laughs> god people are just crazy <laughs> kuch now kuch to hua hai kuch ho raha hai <laughs> oh my god <laughs> main main aisa kyu <laughs> this can be teriya <laughs> teriya ko main kya le This can be a legitimate meme. Oh my God! You're Rama. We already have like very few memes in astronomy, so yeah, please come and make. So basically, yeah. uh, there is this mod Gizmo girl. <coughs> the universe has a dark side. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a dark side. The universe oh. is no different. <laughs> Suraj, you are mad. Very aakho me galaxy. What? Why? <laughs> Hey, what is that? What is that uh, song though that I'm thinking? Uh, yeah, कुछ हो रहा है गजब हो रहा है नशे से चढ़ गई हो नो 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 नहीं 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 पीपल आर नो 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 नॉट दैट नॉट 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 नशे से आई डोंट थिंक सो डार्क साइड ऑफ द फोर्स एनीवे ऑल राइट वील वील फिगर इट आउट वील वील स्टार्ट अ वील स्टार्ट अ डार्क डार्क मैटर हैशटैग डार्क मैटर मीम मीम्स हैशटैग डार्क मैटर मैटर्स <laughs> like black lives matter so like oh. why we can chadta suraj dheere dheere dal jaye i can keep this do, I, i can keep doing this all day <laughs> oh yeah 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 this is okay cool just tag it guys tag this is literally <laughs> space science antakshari <laughs> tag it on uh, tag it on instagram uh, dark matter matters yes tag oh, me yes. just tag me on instagram and uh, Yeah. yeah give me all the songs that you can get which could be about dark matter hmm. let's let's see if we can do this all right cool okay um so <clears throat> athav do you want to talk about this dark halos so yes yeah, so basically these dark matter halos are something that we can uh, we not we cannot but we can sense that these are uh, these are the things which due to which things are being made okay galaxies are being made <coughs> inside matter is being made so basically it all depends on these now these there the, there is a galaxy cluster it has a dark matter or dark halo surrounding it dark matter halo there is another galaxy cluster there is another dark matter halo surrounding it there is again this network of dark matter halos mm-hmm. it's like a wall right ghar ka yeah compartmentalizing oh. basically society hai ek ghar ke bagal mein ek wall hai uske wale Be, and so for, then it, so it a entirely big, has a wall so there's a big society compound hmm. uske andar there are houses ka compound mm-hmm. aur uske hmm. andar there are rooms ka compound rooms ka walls uske bahar tumhare do char societies ka compound wow. uske bahar tumhara city ka compound ka basically it's going up beyond so we don't know what uh, what is going on between any two sub any two corresponding dark matter halos we don't know what how would they interact because we know how things interact when we know what they are yeah. or what they are made of we don't know what they are made of so how can we judge the interaction we can just judge the interaction or comment about it or sense it in some way uh, by seeing the discrepancies on expectancy and observance so the gap yeah the gaps so it's there where we can sense the discrepancy we can yeah. sense that there is something going on brilliant yeah. brilliant so the boundaries have always been set universe mein we didn't invent countries ke boundaries and stuff <laughs> damn no. okay no okay yes i'm no. kidding no. i'm <laughs> kidding i'm no. kidding no. um uh so yeah anyway so the motions of galaxies in a cluster that we were talking about yeah. so ab wo uska individual motion tha around its center galaxy ka the one that we observed yeah. but even in clusters galaxy bahut fast ghum raha hai it shouldn't be moving that fast with the matter it has in it the gravity is not strong enough to hold it together it should fly off like it's a har ek cheez fail jana chahiye okay but it's still together and it's Sorry moving for interrupting and... i can't uh, ignore this there is this arvind sutar matter thinking about dark matter pata pata nahi ji kaun sa nasha kar <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yash, Yash oh. Parik. I am a scientist in Israel. Would love to chat with Sid. Oh, that's so cool, Yash. Uh, oh, okay. That, oh, be, nice. Okay, really Yash cool. Parik. Right. Yash, can you, uh, if you're on Instagram, can you just message me on Instagram? We can definitely connect, and uh, we will be having more streams. Uh, we would love to have you on. Uh, okay. Right. So, uh, Minal, what you just said mm-hmm. earlier. we thought that gravity was enough yeah to keep everything together why did we change our minds why did we realize that gravity is not enough because things are moving faster than they should hmm. and with that speed gravity is not strong enough yeah at least the no, the gravity that we use or the okay. one we talk about is not strong enough to hold it together wo fail jana chahiye 
it's still together and it's moving around in the universe as it should correct so when we used gravity ka equation mm-hmm. uh, the the objects which are at a distance from that gravity source should be mm-hmm. moving slower hmm when we hmm. noticed that they were moving faster we realized that if it is actually moving that fast and if gravity was the only force then it would get slung off yeah so hmm. then yes. we realized that something has to keep them in that's why yes. a lot of people okay. call dark matter unidentified gravity because right. it's like kind of holding it together amazing but we still don't know yeah why fun- it has a most like one of the similar functions is like what gravity plays yeah so okay this is crazy in friends mm-hmm. there is a line where phoebe is arguing with ross yeah and uh, ross phoebe says fossil uh, no 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 phoebe says uh, yeah in that fossil wala episode she says that don't get me started on gravity mm-hmm. and ross says do you don't believe in gravity so phoebe says it's not that i feel something is pulling me down as much as pushing me <laughs> and that is so ahead of its time because she is is she talking about dark matter oh my okay that might be <laughs> i know we might we might we must ask the script writer yeah, yeah that's crazy though it's <coughs> crazy okay yeah. and i thought only big bang theory is there to promote science <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure this was an accident but uh, interesting though it's interesting well, that the most ridiculous position that you can take on a subject just wait for 50 years <laughs> that's going to come to mad absolutely mad okay it's just simpsons all over again yeah oh yeah man everything that is spoof becomes real eventually <laughs> we have time travelers among us that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay Anyway, so there's another case for dark matter that yeah. is hot gas in clusters. Yeah. So <coughs> the uh, gas around clusters um, is it shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be around it, and you basically and it's moving too fast because see, in this picture it's in different wavelengths, mm-hmm. and you can check that you can see gas here or there. Right. And how many क्लस्टर के एकदम पास में है राइट एंड इट्स हॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द कलर वी कैन टेल इसका टेम्परेचर क्या है सो बेसिकली इट शुड एंड बी द केस इट्स बट इट स्टिल इज राइट एंड दे आर लाइक देर नीड्स टू बी सम एक्स्ट्रा मास देर टू होल्ड इट टूगेदर विद द क्लस्टर अगेन एंड इट बी एट दैट टेम्परेचर एंड स्टिल बी स्टक टू द क्लस्टर एंड नॉट जस्ट स्प्रेड अराउंड सो so one weirdest one weird thing that i read about dark matter was that we think about it as uh, okay galaxy nebula all these distant things but even close to home yeah here hmm uh, around earth hmm. also there is dark matter even they say even uh, in our they, they, in apne khud mein 85% is dark matter right so, so like a dark matter is crossing us million right times now. a day million times a second and we don't know <coughs> like so right now we are we are living ah. in dark matter yeah we are inside water and we still don't know about it it's kind of it's sad. inside of us and uh hmm. huh? it's not i mean we don't know we don't, we don't know. know intrinsic dimensions again we don't know anything Very so like by intrinsic dimensions i remember something like the antman have you seen it hmm. uh uh-huh. so it, it it's like you don't go near something or you come away from something it's just like a concept like where you change size and you see mm-hmm. a thing with the whole new perspective right. right it's even our things don't end at atoms There's... so maybe dark matter could be one of the things that uh, doesn't fit in our model doesn't fit in our dimensions doesn't fit in our perception right yeah. so Yet. the only difference between <coughs> discussing dark matter mm mm-hmm. and discussing religion mm-hmm. is that at the end of the dark matter discussion we are comfortable saying we don't know i don't know yeah that's it otherwise it's But very similar Case... no it's not we have evidence for dark matter we don't have evidence for religion what evidence do we have for religion it's man made this is not man made it's perception 
perception. It's perception, but this is not perception. We have evidence that there is there is something that we are missing in explaining in our our own equation for the universe. In explaining a equation, unified equation for the entire working of the universe, we know that we have some factor missing which can be explained by something for which the term is coined as dark matter. But we know that there is something that is missing yeah. because. we can see difference between observed and expected and that much difference cannot be um, due to experimental errors or some human errors or something so there is a there is evidence of something that is there is missing but in religion it i don't think so there is any evidence in conversations i think the difference is that the methodology is different the main goal is trying to understand the world around us Yeah. it's just we are using different methods for that exactly. over here we are trying to find something over there we are just trying to uh, cover up that we don't know no, no, i no. guess so the i mean yeah there are uh, <coughs> i mean so think about it this way hmm. uh you observe something you uh, see something that you can't explain and you come up with a hypothesis yeah. right so there is a difference between and the only reason to come up with a hypothesis for anything is when there is a difference between observed and expected hmm. so uh, if say for example uh, they take uh, 100 people and out of that 50 people don't believe in god and 50 people believe in god and i'm talking about like uh, at the year 200 bc okay hmm. now for some if you say that the 50 people who believed in god uh, they all fell sick and the survival rate in the people who believed in god was much higher hmm. okay now they didn't so it it makes logical sense it's a scientific approach to say that uh faith this works uh, praying to whoever they were praying at the time it doesn't matter mm-hmm. whoever they were praying to at the time uh that works so that yeah. sun god praying to the sun god works or praying to some mm-hmm. stone works uh now we know a lot more now now we know the difference that uh, faith plays in your biology and how your cortisol yeah. levels goes up and uh, your you know amygdala activation to decreases with faith and your the way your biology functions is very different with faith and without faith mm-hmm. but at that but time, we cannot say that that uh, those biological changes are what is causing us to heal I in some or the other way i don't think he's trying to say that no no, ah, no. okay i'm saying yeah. that uh, there is a there are uh, just just like just like this uh, as as our knowledge improves uh, our ability to explain the difference between observed and calculated yeah improves so yeah. initially everything starts off as a placeholder hmm. like, let's call it dark matter let's call it something i think the main difference is that uh, we are ready to say i don't know we are ready to yeah. change our explanations with new knowledge yeah that's that is yeah like that's where i i personally stand on so basically what what is the aim of one phys any physicist hmm they want to explain the entire working of the universe yeah. may it be galaxies may it be stars may it be quantum level particles like leptons baryons yeah. ev- anything quarks everything they want to explain all this in one single unified equation yeah that's the final goal so we are just trying to put it in blocks hmm. where we can and we are trying to find what's missing in those blocks right hmm. and we are ready to find and we are ready to change our perception about things yeah exactly yeah that is where the thing nothing is-, is predefined for us hmm. Hmm. we are defining things for our own uh, as we go ahead so i think yeah. the biggest difference between 2021 and uh, 200 bc is that today we have the luxury of not knowing yeah we are not struggling to survive exactly today. so now because uh, the uh, chaos is a luxury uh, 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 being able to be comfortably ignorant is a luxury mm-hmm. and uh, we are there and so we are much more comfortable i'm pretty sure that uh, uh, it wouldn't have been this easy you know 2000 years ago that's why we started off with religion or astrology that exactly. is where it stemmed from exactly we- as we got comfortable 
we started with science and everything no it was not like as we got comfortable there were groups which did not want to believe in such things which it's were separated na no? it's separated branch. it's separated yeah because after a while we were like are ha it doesn't make sense there's something missing over there again yeah. it's always yeah. the hypothesis thing yeah and so i mean chalo. i understand yeah, yeah. interesting in uh, interesting correlation uh, every time i read about dark matter my mind does so go to this Because so that's why the... when people ask me like, yeah, what is the use of all this? <coughs> Correct. Why do you do it? So like, okay, you build plastic-free things to save the earth, to save yourself. You do yeah. it. It is helpful to the society. It's helpful to the community. Yeah. Why do you do it? I I I I popularly say it just to quench our thirsts. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So so I I wonder. I I must not be saying this, but I wonder why do people invest money in just quenching a thirst and nothing to the mind kind, but there is a larger there goal is. for the mind kind oh yeah which people sure. don't perceive um uh, yeah so with ha yeah. tell me mean i was going to say when we like talk about mankind and everything like so when he says ki we should do for something for the mankind it takes a lot about like going out of your comfort zone there are so many things you have to step out of yeah and it takes courage to do that with the identities that we have developed and we are so stuck with yeah. it's hard to get out of that conversation but then some people actually do it so if they can do it anyone can do it right mm. so the only problem here is i won't say it's a problem i'm just saying ki experience logo ka har ek ka alag alag hai and with that comes what they want from their life or what they think they are capable of doing it's very again doing something for the mankind also has a background of some people have ki oh i am so great look at me doing something for the mankind and everything usually so, yeah i mean usually nobody does it for mankind uh, yeah. everybody does it uh, to quench their own to okay. everybody does it i mean the reason we do anything is to solve a very specific problem in your life yeah that's it and uh if you want to help mankind then that is the reason you want to help mankind is to solve a specific problem in your life exactly. why do you need to help mankind there is a fundamental desire for whatever so oh yeah. that's that's dip, uh, disappointing yash parik i am joking i ain't a scientist in isro yes because i searched oh. um, searched him up on the net and i didn't find any account linked in isro i mean what a what a silly thing <laughs> to do i don't understand. i was dreaming of going to isro <laughs> like contact ban jayega <laughs> i mean scam op okay, okay then <laughs> oh <laughs> you know saying dark matter reveal and 1 million subscribers saying nasa <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> too good <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So coming back to NASA's case for dark matter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It just lined up so well. Okay. Yeah. So NASA, uh, this is called the Bullet Cluster, huh. and it its original name is one E zero. All that stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, <laughs> if um, oh my God, is why is everyone stuck? What happened? No, everything oh. is going on. Okay. They've made it so freeze over there. Okay. okay. Anyway, so now what they did was they tried to measure mass in a particular spot mm-hmm. in this cluster, and they used did that using the gravitational lensing that we talked about. Right. Which, yeah. <coughs> now here, uh, what they observed is these are blue areas. Hmm. So dark matter has different types in it as well. Yeah. Okay, but we will talk about that later on. So, ye blue areas are the areas where there seems to be more mass than what we see. There's a lot more bending of light than what we see, and that's why they colored it as you know dark yeah. matter area. And this is the pink area, which is normal. This is dark matter. Nee, dikh raha hai itna. Right. So, yeah, uh, having like we have tools now where we can calculate dark matter in particular aspects of space. so it's not just some thing that we can't figure out yeah getting evidence of that so basically there are <coughs> modified theories of gravity 
so like mm-hmm. not just gtr not just general theory of relativity or not just einstein's gravity we have modified theories of gravity okay so these are just theories again these are not mm-hmm. proved so gravitational wave astronomy is one big aspect which helps us to test these theories mm-hmm. because gravitational wave astronomy actually gives us what we are seeing yeah or and what we are missing so that is used to test the theories we have right now right so that modified is... gravities modified theories of gravity <laughs> so like this is a very booming topic okay. not much has been done actually i would say nothing has been done oh, okay then <laughs> <laughs> the expert has spoken <laughs> i hope that there are no astrophysicists getting triggered by this but okay <laughs> no but that is reality is <laughs> it all right continue <laughs> okay so um um this picture the way we see it now that is not actually how we see it yeah like when astronomers get data from satellites or whatever it looks like this oh wow it's very ugly <laughs> yeah oh yeah but, definitely prefer the earlier one yeah <laughs> it looks like this and then you create graphs and then you colorize you get a picture you color it according to the data points and yeah. it's oh, this so is what we see daily this is what we process daily this yeah. is what we study daily this is the reality this is what like hamare exam mein bhi ye aata hai pictures oh, nahi aata are you serious pictures nahi obviously pictures kahe aayenge like would they would they rather <laughs> say that that, that uh, uh, guess the general name of this particular object on based on the image or would they be more focused on analyzing the image by the given data Okay. So it's like matrix like the guy would just look at numbers and yeah. be like oh that girl with the red dress right, is hot yeah right. so it's so kind basically ha huh? we don't oh. have that much iq to look so, at this number yeah you say, oh, you look at this right. and be like oh kya blue diagram bana hai kya red diagram <laughs> okay. we can yeah, actually say mother. that we can actually say that by looking at the uh, emissions what okay wow that yeah. would take hell of a great super computer in your brain <laughs> so, but it's a very i just wanted to put it in picture ki that's why i asked you in your previous um, stream i guess neurology of nostalgia <coughs> like can we can the brain evolve hmm. to understand deeper dimensions that we don't perceive yeah like i you you did answer that our brain perceives what you see i was asking can can it evolve in the for, for further time to like so, because if we are studying this then we are some in some what we absorbing um much greater dimensions then yeah. why can't our system evolve in so the, the trying to perceive it or trying to understand it in it on it, itself the thing with evolution is that it will only evolve to solve problems that it is hmm. convinced it has yeah so it will darwin s- theory ha ha it will not solve essay any problem and the an, another unfortunate thing is that it will try out multiple solutions mm. so ev- the story of evolution is one of many many dead ends so a lot of evolutionary tracks didn't work yeah. and mm. uh, each each uh, branch of evolution takes like millions of years so what is most likely going to happen is that our evolution from here on out is going to be uh, cyborgs yeah like that's the most logical thing because uh, we will not wait for 1 million years for our brain to evolve in like we'll have a prefrontal cortex ke upar suprafrontal cortex karke kuch agar aa gaya wo kitna time lagega skull change karna padega hamara bahut kuch change karna padega bahut change hoga like so, even hmm. hamara food intake interesting kitna yeah yeah so it is what neuralink is doing and eventually right now it is not happening much because it is not an urgent problem Yeah. but the day it becomes urgent uh, we are like our brain is capable of creating things that will help us evolve right like that's what all technology has been mm-hmm. oh okay like cars mm-hmm. make us move faster if we could have just kept running 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 and hoped that we would run as fast as cheetahs but it's yeah. better to build cars we yeah. could have evolved wings but it's better to build a plane so on so on so we just don't trust on our evolution right. on the time scale and we just go with our instinct what we need for yeah. the so time being for the first time evolution is not natural evolution is not the most efficient mm-hmm. system mm-hmm. so we evolved to the point where we can uh, just outsource our skills correct that is so good 
it's like oh my god wow yeah the, i mean the, uh, 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 the problem is that we will still do trial and error we will not get it right the first yeah. time but then if nature couldn't get it right then who are we right exactly yeah so um <clears throat> uh, anyway going back to this yeah. uh, i just wanted to say someone had mentioned ki ye data software the manage karta hai huh. so i mean obviously there's software that you use and there's a lot of stuff that you use sure. we mostly use python so if you want to get into astrophysics start with python oh yeah i've heard of python or fortran maybe yeah oh, okay both we you know what someone on discord was saying <coughs> that they teach python and they wanted to do a class and uh, yeah we should definitely do that at least on yeah. discord we can have a uh, Sessions or China channel we may maybe Python where you can ask. Yeah, yeah. I exactly. have loads of material I can put on Python. Yeah, like uh, in our course, our the main thing is Python right now. Because the exam is over here. Oh, so. over here. So like, tomorrow <laughs> exam. Okay. Tomorrow exam is your. Yeah. Oh, what a joke. Um. Cool. Anyway, so what we know as of now that yeah. what we know is in the terms of that we know that dark matter is not there. and we know that it doesn't appear it doesn't interact with our normal electromagnetic field that we usually interact with it does not absorb reflect or emit uh, electromagnetic right. radiation and it's mostly the evidence uska jo bhi hai it's from the galaxies what we see the missing gap that is our source of evidence we just know ki something is missing Right. And we are like, oh, dark so matter. So this is very interesting, and something <coughs> I want to ask that: How mm-hmm. can it interact with mass mm-hmm. and not with electromagnetic fields? Uh, I mean, is it directly interacting with mass? We still don't know. How we don't know how it is interacting with. Yeah. So we don't know how it interacts at all. Yeah. It just hmm. it doesn't interact with what we see. That's all. No, it does, right? Like it. It, we see the stars and planets no we are it doesn't interact it has its effect but it's not effect. directly interacting we what's, don't what's see what's the difference so if it interacts we will be able to see it because you know okay. interactions of... are there okay interesting so we see it's like wind and there is a flag sure. so to tell the wind is uh-huh. there you can't see it but the flag just moves yeah okay or then Uh, you have a light source and you have a black screen it doesn't reflect off a black screen right mm. so like we can say it's not interacting with the black screen but it is obviously having its effect on the black screen by increasing the temperature that is also somewhat we can sense if we were not able to <coughs> sense the temperature then we would say that it is not interacting with the black screen got it got it got it okay brilliant stuff okay yeah and now we have candidates for dark matter it's like क्या बोलते हैं शादी डॉट कॉम माय गॉड अम्म सो अथर्व डू यू वांट टू टॉक अबाउट दिस सो ओके सो बेसिकली अम्म एस आई एस आई मेंशन्ड इन सम प्रीवियस स्ट्रीम अ वेरी स्मॉल एग्जांपल लेट्स टेक सो लाइक ब्राउन डॉर्फ्स देर आर ब्राउन डॉर्फ्स we don't know what is the fate what what is the origin लाइक वी डोंट नो मच मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट ब्राउन डॉर्फ्स बट वी कैन से � these have some characteristics like um stars some characteristics like giant planets and therefore we can say that this is at some cer- certain inter- intersection of them yeah. because they resemble some some properties in each of the sector uh, classi- classification uh, like okay some object but uh, the same similar thing similar thing is over here when we observe many things like the as she show showed us the velocity diagram Go the this. mass Ma- diagram macho <laughs> so it it it, ma- it matches it matches some of the properties with each of this oh. and it is given over there so neutrinos are in the sta- standard model and sterile neutrinos are there on v- for weak scale <coughs> super symmetry which theoretically all, this is all theoretical these are all like very different fields you yeah, for very different very very vast fields right. so like or oh, the uh, light bosons are axion like particles and dark matter evidence is show something like axionic properties yeah. so basically we are trying to see what we uh, who who is the most suitable for us this is pretty brilliant so uh, matlab ek salary bhi zyada de raha hai ek 
ये ये एक को खाना भी बनाना आता है एक ये भी कर रहा है एक के पास घर है ये बेसिकली यू कॉन्ट फाइंड ऑल द इफ यू फाइंड ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑन वन सिंगल पर्सन देन देन इट्स दैट दैट्स इट्स इट्स द एंड राइट सो बेसिकली वो तब एंड होगा जब पूरा एक्सप्लेन होगा उससे ओके सो दीज आर ऑल द कैंडिडेट्स वी डोंट नो उसमें से कौन फाइनली सेलेक्ट होगा Mm-hmm. नहीं so, इसमें से भी सिलेक्ट होगा कि नहीं पता नहीं देर देर माइट बी समथिंग डिफरेंट और देर माइट बी समथिंग कंबाइनिंग दिस दिस नथिंग सो वी हैव लाइक अभी फोकस सबसे ज्यादा लाइक बोसोन और न्यूट्रिनोस पे अभी इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन में दे हैव सेंट सम डिटेक्टर्स एंड एवरीथिंग फॉर न्यूट्रिनोस ओके वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टॉक ब्रिलियंट बट हां आई होप दैट दे फाइंड नथिंग नो कैंडिडेट्स फ्रॉम दिस I love I love Athar's optimism. It's like let's make it fun. Let's up the stakes. So what are those? Okay, so basically these mostly what we see over here are from these that we and okay oh, the uh, previous side ones. Ha ha. Okay, so this emoji modified gravity theory. Yeah. So these are the things tested being tested by uh, gravitational wave astronomy to see whether this is a false candidate, true candidate, or can we even consider it. and the uh, obviously as minel said neutrinos and light bosons ke liye uh, iss mein bheje hai cheez hai or like for detectors these are like it's so fascinating that all of this is going on right now right and now yeah, yeah. Like, it's happening now. happening now yeah and ab tak hum log astronomy ka bolte the oh wo insaan ne banaya tha newton wagaire ne and now you like now you actually have the chance so, of making this right. happen so it it's almost as if hamara jo streams hai We've hmm. been talking about past, 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 and now this is we have reached till where astrophysics is today. Yeah. And future perspectives. Yes. Ah, these are galaxies. वाले इसमें अभी तक हम लोग we still haven't reached universe and a lot of stuff. Galaxies वाला जो जो अपन बात कर रहे हैं वो सब अभी चल रहा है. Brilliant. <coughs> Everything is going on, and um, so yeah. I just thought that this is for this is just for reference what reference. neutrinos yeah, are and we, what yeah. light bosons are. We saw are. this one last time also. Yes, yes. Yeah. Just koi bhool gaya hoga. I, <laughs> I I didn't we didn't know that you were putting up the revision material. That's why we just put it over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, now this is uh oh my god this wow. thing I hate it but this is like an actual data ka simulation. Simulation hai yeah. Not ah. actual data. Oh, ये भी. हाँ, ये भी zoom हो रहा है. Okay, what did I do? <laughs> anyway, so how dark matter affects the universe? Right. So that we'll have to understand the structure of the universe. Right. And we're gonna need an entire different stream for that again. Like it's wow. a very huge topic. So, okay. So. Once... So basically, this is a voxel or a block that we call in simulation. Voxel is something like a <laughs> yeah a, a computational block in which a computational unit hmm. so in which we can that, analyze. So uh, we use that in MRI machines. Yes, exactly. So to study the brain, that's very yes. interesting. So basically, we use voxels in studying the universe. And the uh, under the fibers, it's Haan. like they have the dark matter and without dark matter, as a so dark matter, one is anti matter, one is. Oh, that's okay. antimatter is that is oh, not even right now. That that is particle physics, not astrophysics, not cosmology. Oh, cosmology. That's particle. Yeah. When we talk that, about that's particle physics. That's not even cosmology. That's okay. particle physics. Got it. Cosmology. So this area is a intersection of astrophysics and cosmology, hmm. right? When we go from galaxies to halos, when we go from galaxies to dark matter, we are traversing from astrophysics to cosmology. Right. So that AGN वाला part, that halo वाला clusters वाला part yeah. comes in both. Right, and yeah. it's insane how suddenly you go from outer space to subatomic particles. Exactly. That is just a drop. And we, 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 साइज के कुछ चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट ही नहीं है या तो गैलेक्सी की बात करो या सब एटॉमिक दिस इज लाइक दैट मीम यू नो नॉट तो मैं क्या करूं मर जाओ हां अभी से पन्नी जॉब छोड़ दूं ओह माय गॉड बट या आई वांटेड टू पॉइंट आउट कि व्हाइल स्टडीइंग दीस थिंग्स राइट लाइक माइक्रोस्कोपिक एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक वी हैव गॉटन 
the world that we live in right now. Yeah. So I was reading about Sohn Ka Collider. Hmm. You know, spent billions of money in that millions. Yeah. And people were like, "Ki kyu kar rahe ho? Iska koi use bhi nahi hai." But then after we did the experiment and everything, now that uh, the thing we understood about protons and anything that is being used. For cancer ka treatment, yeah. the proton therapy, right. and I was like, "This is so crazy. We are just, we are reaching that point as a civilization where everything is so connected with each other now. Right. If physics me kuch hua, toh biology me bhi jayega." Absolutely. It's, I mean, it's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, at at the at the <coughs> core, every mm-hmm. field requires knowledge, and how you use that knowledge is different. Yeah. I mean, in a very different way. Uh, I thought of how. <coughs> in terms of content creation mm-hmm. i'll what... just stop sharing the screen yeah yeah, yeah 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 let it let this be the end of background mera aankh dukh raha hai yeah yeah it's actually triggering <laughs> okay i'll i'll take it to something which is very calm to look at oh, that the, the uh, that galactic ribbons oh yeah for sure bhai kitna piche jana padega yaar ha ha this is good <laughs> so the idea of how what you need is an idea mm-hmm. and what that idea becomes is it depends on which field you are in so the same idea can become a tweet or a post or a youtube video or a reel or a movie or a book anything if you work on it enough so it's literally like the most difficult thing is the idea yeah and mm. it's actually like that the most difficult thing is to discover something new discover a new drug for example Hmm. most of the drugs that are currently approved for something was initially researched on for something entirely different mm-hmm. something for urinary tract infection will end up uh, helping in dementia or random things <laughs> okay but uh, i mean that was just an example but it, it all of all of science is full of things like this yeah where the ultimate outcome is very different from the planned one they're working on something for dementia at international space station as well so yeah it's kind of it's amazing how yeah. things are coming together amazing uh i ha- i have to ask though because of the uh, because of the expectation from the previous two streams is there mm-hmm. is there an ending planned for this one uh <laughs> i no. mean i just have a quote that i really wanted to share it's a very small one yeah please and it's by car segan again that man has all my heart <laughs> but are we ending it over here that's my uh, question i mean yeah i think i think we will yeah uh, mm, okay fine yeah it's 11:38 yeah so yes. i think we will you have an exam to prepare for tomorrow ah mera ho gaya uska ha so okay he says every one of us is in the cosmic perspective i is precious If human disag- if a human disagrees with you, let him live. In a hundred billion galaxies, you will not find another. And I think that is something that we need right now. Carl Sagan is more of a philosopher than a cosmologist. That is, I mean, he yeah. started with that. Yeah, I think a philosopher uh, is uh, a part of almost every field. If you go down deep enough, yeah, you can't escape philosophy, right? You can't. This is brilliant. This is such a lovely quote. So, um, yeah, I just thought, yeah, it's something that we need right now. Amazing. Uh, uh, please it. don't end piano, P. <laughs> um, I mean, I just have one song that I can play. उसके बाद मेरा पूरा पियानो का नॉलेज खत्म होता है उधर ही. Oh wow. Okay, so go for it. Go for it. It's Time by Hans Zimmer. It's a very simplified version of that. Go for And, it. I'll try. Yes. Please forgive my mistakes and whatever that is. Be kind of. I'll have to put the screen. I'll stop sharing the screen. Yes, you can. And yeah. <coughs> Get her full screen on the what you call that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I just do it. Maybe minimize us. Yeah, one second, huh? Oh, one second. Yeah, I'm just connecting the camera. Yeah yeah
<clears throat> no, I still need a little bit more time. One second. Uh, so can you come to a little bit of the center of the screen or uh, change the camera? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, is this audible? Yes. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> All right, hearts in the hearts in the chat, guys. Can't we arrange us both as like? Yeah. Okay. It's a bit dicey over there. Uh, no. Somehow not able to do that right now. Okay, no worries. Yeah, let it be. It's okay. Let it be. Yeah, go on. एक्चुअली उधर बगल में गिटार पड़ी थी जो मैंने उसको पहला बोला कि बाजू में रख नहीं तो लोग बजाने को बोलेंगे प्रैक्टिस करके रख सीख के रख एक दो तीन हफ्ते तेरे पास हाँ यार सिड नेक्स्ट टाइम योर म्यूजिक शो Yeah. Yes. Yes. Next time, I guess we will also include some bit of cosmology, theoretical. Yeah. And, Maybe uh, discuss what all theories we have in hand. That would be super technical, but I can't help it. Ah <laughs> <coughs> huh, yes, obviously. Yes. the topics would be super technical not the explanation explanation is like if we can't explain that how are we science journalists it's yeah i mean i don't i had a hard time understanding all these technical terms i still yeah. don't understand Sorry, them yes. yeah i mean so, uh, it's the challenge of these streams is that uh, 
Uh, same for me, right? Uh, yeah. For neuroscience also, the challenge is that uh, can you explain it to somebody who doesn't know anything about that topic? Exactly. And can they go back not thinking that, oh, this field is very complex, but thinking that, uh, oh, I, can, I, I get it. Yeah. That's all you want. I get it. Not the, not the, uh, not all the extremes, but yeah. that general the, feeling. The understanding. Of, yeah. Right. yeah. And I think at this point where uh, we have reached that point where there's a lot of misinformation going on. Yeah. And bohat sari complex cheese are here. We need people who can explain things in a simpler way. Yeah, exactly. So that no one can be fooled. <laughs> That's very true. Okay, uh, I think we're going to wrap up here for yeah, today. Yes, yes, this yes, has sir. been incredible. I, I think all our streams have been really, really worth, uh, you know, thinking so about cool. later. <laughs> uh, chat, I hope that uh, you guys had a lot of fun. I know that I was uh, muted for a minute or so. I hope that uh, now it's okay. And... Okay, so there were a lot of lot of hearts. Amazing. So many hearts. Sagar Ingle, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, oh, wow. I love to see the hearts, man. It's so, so nice. All right. Uh, uh, best of luck I, for your exams. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me. So I wanted to ask, you had put up on YouTube, I guess, that pe- people should ch- suggest next yeah. topic and all. Yeah. Or if they have any questions... That yeah. we can answer in the next yes. stream, maybe. Yes. So I was thinking uh, one idea of mine that we can actually do the applications of what we study, like linear algebra. Yeah. That we study. Yeah. People are like, oh, we use it. But yeah, oh, you know. Oh yeah, it's a yeah. it's a meme, right? That I've never used trigonometry. Yeah, we use so, it. Let's talk we, about it. Yeah, it will be fun because. I find it so exciting. I have a lot of fun with you. And it's been very interesting Done. to read about linear algebra and our life. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> from where do you get this stuff to read? You just read the papers. So linear algebra is used in the matrix. Ah, yes. Okay, that I understand. But explaining yeah. our life. Okay. Very cool. So I was thinking of doing a series of streams called uh, Things I Wish College Taught Me. Yeah. Uh, uh, general college and specifically in medical college, engineering college. So I'll call the engineers who could mm-hmm. talk about, uh, who have finished studying and they're working and uh, things that college should actually teach you. Yeah. And what was missing. But this is the opposite. Things I wish I paid attention to in school. <laughs> yeah. Or they taught in a much better way. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. That. I would love the, to. The main, the main topic which I feel that the school taught in a much better way was biology. Yeah. I don't. They just, you... they just took away my interest in the twelfth grade, uh, oh, till yeah. the tenth grade, and then yeah. I didn't take it up. And then when I came here, it was nice. <laughs> These people actually knew how to <coughs> take that conceptual and not growth learning. Yeah. yeah. So we can do that. I, I would love to have that. Yeah. Mm. Done. Let's let's have a let's have a conversation on it. Let's discuss yeah. how can we frame that stream and let's do it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Done. All Guys, right. thank you so much, Meenal, Atharva, both of thank you. Thank you for having yes. us. Yes, thank uh, you for having us. Thank everyone, you. go follow them both on Instagram. I've put out the uh, links in the description below, and I shall see you all soon. Yep. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Good night, night. Good 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 night.